right, everybody. Welcome back to the truth, as always. Fando, Fando, Mario. Here. Here. Infamous Jay. We back and at it again. Um, we apologize for the week. It's been, it's been this month has been crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on. We had the uh, Super Bowl one weekend, and then we <laughs> there go Jay. He, of course, he had to throw that out there real quick. You know, say, and we was just being black in Black History Month. That's all, mm-hmm. and uh, that's a part of that too. So, <laughs> other than that, we back. We're gonna do. Uh, we got today's show. It's gonna be. I, we, we don't know how it's going to be. We never know how it's going to be. We we always shoot for one thing and it ends up where it ends up. You know how that goes. So mm-hmm. we're just going to make it make it and keep it pushing. Make it and keep it pushing. Um, starting off, I do want to hit the birthdays, if you don't mind. Get those out the way. Yeah. Um, we got a couple of them. We got some some passings and some birthdays that, um, that popped up over the last little bit, unfortunately. Um, so starting out Back on February 5th, Mr. Ryuse, who How is you know a... you before you, but your birthday was before his. <laughs> yeah. Well, one, I'm not on this level yet. Yeah, but so we still have our, we, your birthday was literally before his. My bad. Okay, okay. Well it's then if we're gonna do that, let me let me backtrack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, backtrack. Come on, baby. Let me backtrack. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. back. It's hard to yell with the barrel in your (laughs) swizzy. Uh, Okay, so uh, I guess my my the start off February third. I got to shout out my nephew. His birthday is the third day before mine. Uh, He just turned ooh seven this year. Ooh, lucky seven. Oh, the man getting old. So. No. Uh, so shout out to him. He probably will, will not hear this. If he does, it'll be later in life. But you know, hey, it's all good. Shout out to my nephew, uh, Urias. Hope he had a great, great, great birthday. From what I heard, I called him to call down there to check on him when it did. Um, but he had a good one. And then myself, my birthday was on the fourth of February. Hey, hey. So, pen, pen, um, pen. I appreciate that, y'all. Uh, had a good one. Enjoyed myself. Kind of kicked it, hung out. I'm, I'm a real laid back kind of person, so I stuck to myself, did some work. Actually, I probably did more work than anything that day <laughs> since I was off work, um, off work and doing other work. You know how that goes. So, um, next, and these are not in any particular order, but I do appreciate the vocab. Vocab always that one in the corner, in the corner pocket. He is. So he I gotta, gotta appreciate it. It wouldn't be him if it wasn't. It That's wouldn't be him if it wasn't, and I know I wasn't gonna say nothing about it. So <laughs> I'm a fall. I was gonna have that one in the corner. I'm a so, Um, but back to back to what I'm saying it. <clears throat> the man who voiced Frieza, Mr. Ryuse. Oh His wow, birthday was the fifth. Was um, that fifty-one or sixty-one? I can't tell. Is that fifty-one or sixty-one? Fifty-one, five-one. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Um, he also got he got some pretty other some other good titles with his name. Uh old boy from Bleach, Miyuri, um, Vaccine Man back on One Punch Man <laughs> from what episode one. Uh, okay. So he's got he's got some in his Trigun Stampede. He's doing some stuff still currently with that. So as you can see, he's got some some pretty good, pretty good stuff that he's been up to over the years. Uh this ain't supposed to be in here, but we'll talk about this later. Miss Miss Celia Cruz. We will get on this one a little bit later. I put it in the wrong category though, so let me let me remove that and move it around. That goes in the Black Excellence category. We'll handle that a little bit later. Um, Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter, Jimmy. Um, when was his birthday again? Let me get that pulled back up. <laughs> the eleventh of February. Um, five-time Grammy winner. Gospel American music legend. Uh, his birthday is February the 11th. So he's from the Blind Boys. I don't know if y'all remember that from back in the day. So that is the same as my grandmother's. Uh, so he is. He his birthday was on the 11th. Um, now this one's this one's kind of. I've not seen this guy in a long time. I didn't. I didn't even think about it. But his birthday was the ninth. He voiced Helsing. I gotta oh. give him credit just off of that. 
No. Oh, like, I know he was. Uh, <laughs> just off the strength a... of that, I gotta give him that credit. He also played the dude, I, which I despise from um, Lelouch. Uh, what was it? Uh, Code Geass. Well, and that captain, but he he did he was a good character. I can't argue with it. So, uh, and then there's a couple others that he he played in there. Um, Itachi, oh, Itachi. Really did Itachi. Oh wow, yeah, Itachi, and I forget the dude's name in the in the corner, the bottom right corner. I forget where he's from. Um, that no, it's not from my hero. Um, I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, it's not my hero. I thought it was it's gentle. I, I thought it was gentle for a second there, but. Eh. Sorry, I read no, my no, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna look into it a little bit, uh, a little bit later. I forget who that was, but we'll 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 pull that one up a little later. Um, also, Mr. Yoshino, this man is legendary in his own right, as you can see. Yeah. We got a, he his his background here is is well well lit. He was back on the born on the fifth or sixth, forgive me, on the sixth, back in '74. Oh. So, shout out to him on his birthday. That bang uh, was huh? I said that bang was legendary. <laughs> hey, look, if I could pull it off, I would. I swear I would. He got that Maze Hughes look going on. You. Like I believe you, but he was. Man, that's a legend for that next one. You gotta you gotta admit that's that's that right there is like that's that Maze Hughes look. Like Maze Hughes that was cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see him being that. Dude, I would have definitely, I would definitely pull that off with a heartbeat. He's also he's in a, in a lot of the newer ones that I'm seeing here, um, and a lot of the fates. So that right there tells you, you know what I mean. That'll tell you something right there. Mm-hmm. Um, Rio, February first, Vegeta, oh, back in the day, Kenshiro. I mean, Natsu. You know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta get this man. You gotta put some respect on his name, Karasu. Ooh, yeah, he's put some bangers. Yeah, he's PJ some bangers. from Conan, like he he been in this game. He been in this game for a That's minute. An OG, he's an OG, right. definitely. So his birthday was February first. Um, oh, that was a, wrong one. No, wrong one. Wrong category. I've I've been moving stuff around, so it gets in different places. But we'll get to the next one. Chiba, Buggy, Captain Buggy Taicho. Raddick and Raditz. <laughs> I mean, you got to give him credit off that. Sebus, Sebus from Raditz. Overlord. Overlord's one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, and then Jugo from Jujutsu Kaisen. You got to give him that one just off, off of goatee. Vixen off of Final Fan, uh Kingdom Hearts, Look, I mean. Is that, is that Buggy and Raditz right there? Yeah, Buggy and Raditz. Okay. Oh, my Buggy God. and Raditz. Yeah. So he he he's in there as well. Uh, birthday on the fourth, same as mine. So we should we share share the B Day love on that one. Yeah. Your birthday twins. Uh oh, so this one is unfortunately a passing. Um Ooh. with Miss Ann Worshing. Uh let me get that pulled back up no, here. No. Um, she was the Borg Queen. If you guys are Star Trek fans, y'all remember the Borg? She was the Borg Queen. Oh, oh that's that was one of her was. biggest, biggest roles. She um, looked young. 77 she, 77 she good cancer, Lord. Unfortunately. yeah what's that 46 yeah yeah she passed Damn. through the cancer unfortunately young, bro. um oh, that was back in january 29th like end of january so this would have been on that first show we did in february had we uh had we been around on it um she also was in runaways um she was in the tv series 24 so she she had a, a nice you know career going but uh from what i heard it was cancer i took her out so you know prayers so to her family young. and all that so yeah, young. yeah, very, very young. Uh, the other one that I brought up earlier, um, as y'all noticed, was Wednesday Adams. Oh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. she also the original yeah, Wednesday yeah. Adams, Lisa Loring, uh, passed back on January 28th from a stroke. That's oh. so that's where that picture was in there for. Um, for that mm-hmm. one, I want to get the birthdays out of the way first, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, she passed, um, due to a stroke, unfortunately, back on January Man. 28th. The, the original, the OG. So, so shout out, uh, you know, say, so hope their families are doing well. You know, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, they did an amazing job. We, we appreciate for what they did during their lifetime while we got to see them and you know, enjoy them. So, right. Shout out, shout out to the families um, on that one. Um, let's go to. Wait, we should probably mention one more death before we go on. Oh, you got another one? Yeah, of Lord of the Shinigami Fan. has another one. 
Come on, you know the Grim Reaper got one. All right, go for it. What up? Well, this one just happened today. So R.I.P. Richard Belts of Law and Order and Homicide Life on the Street. He just passed away today. Oh, wow. I did not get around to catching that one. Jay, yeah, that broke. Yep, he's back, money. No, I did not hear about that one. That oh, Yeah, that it, it just broke It broke um, early this afternoon. So. Okay. okay. He was sleeping, so that's probably what you missed. Yeah, I was, I was knocked at that point in time, right? Yeah, and I apologize for the late startup. That was on me this time, y'all. Uh, brother took a nap and <laughs> woke up woke up in the middle of it so no just just gotta mention that one because you know we got our law and order law and order fans out there they trust me yeah, people yeah. thought it was a rumor so just throw that one i don't know understandable i appreciate it i appreciate it um appreciate it jumbo right off for the birthday love um there was a couple other pieces i know y'all were talking about wanting to hit is there anything in particular anybody wants to hit before i jump into like a next next little rotation of stuff yeah do you think well, let, I, gotta, uh, I, gotta, I gotta scuff my Tim's for later. But... Y'all can hear me. Oh, Lord. you gotta scuff your Tim's later. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all can hear me. Uh, somebody else yeah, yeah. passed. I found out this morning. Uh, Auntie Ella from House of Pains. Oh, what? No. What? Somebody told me that earlier. Damn. Son. Oh, wow. 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 2023 wants something. Every time it's, it's everything since 2020, bro. It's the 20s. Wow. Oh, Jumbo said he was the one who told him. Yeah, Jumbo is the one who told me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How it happened? Do we know? I'm sorry. Uh, as Jumbo, I forgot. He told me though. I was half sleepy. Tell us, Jumbo. What happened? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. That's a shocker. I didn't hear about that one. Uh, he kept telling me, who, well, like, bro, I don't know who that is by her name. He's like, from the Tyler Perry. I'm like, you know how many people Tyler Perry don't deal with? Then he's like, Auntie Ella. I'm like, not Auntie, Auntie Ella. <laughs> not Auntie Ella from, wow, that's a shocker. I didn't hear that one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up so I can get some clarification. Man, that one, wow. You don't really hear about anybody Today from Tyler Perry. Today is to you by High Q. I don't know what oh, that. yeah, High Q. And, and I got my hero. Wait, I got my hero too. I got some. Uh, I got my hero too. I got my old my hero. Lovely, too. Cassie lovely. Davis died from lung cancer at age 58. Damn, another one with cancer. Damn. 58. And look, the post I found, the first thing they said, oh my god, not Auntie Ella. Right. We got yeah, some yeah. Yeah. liquor inside of it. Of course. Yeah, you know. The rest of us got water. <laughs> just for, just for the record, y'all. The rest of us got water. Uh, true. All right. So, hold up a minute, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you know what? While I'm doing this, because I'm going to see if I can switch my camera over real quick. Uh, I want to throw this up there and see what y'all thoughts are on. Remember we had that Ghibli, uh, Studio Ghibli crossover that we were looking at with Naruto before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There was another one they did with Pokemon. Oh lord. Oh. Oh, I saw this one. That around. was pretty dope, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. And so, yeah. like, I was yeah. watching it, looking through these, and it's like, this is actually I could rock with this too. Like, it, it's the reimagining. Yeah. You know. I love I love seeing shit in different art styles. Joti. Yeah. yeah. That's what Flareon is that Charizard? I think it's Charizard or Char. Yeah, I'm assuming the Charizard. That's Char Charmeleon, low key. Charmeleon, yeah. I don't. Gyarados. That's, that's Gyarados. That's, that's <laughs> oh, the real Gyarados. Gyarados. <laughs> oh, a real. Gengar. Gengar. That is a hideous Gengar. I do not like it. Do not do. Yeah. Like I mean, Gengar but if like you think that. about it in the comics, like Gengar is really like that. Gengar is about that life. In, in nah, the we know that, but still, I'm not a Jigglypuff. Where is Q's Jigglypuff? It's not. I don't know. Oh, Kilala. They might have. It's Arcanine. Hey, That's Kilala. I like. I like that Arcanine. That's Arcanine. I don't know who this was. Rapidash. Yeah, that's Gem One. That's got to be Rapidash. That's Rapidash? That's a dope Rapidash. Dragonite or Dragonite. Charizard? No, no I think Charizard that's Dragonite. There, yeah. I can't see the fire in his tail, so I'm saying Dragonite. Dragonite. 
Nah, that look more Dragon Knight than Charizard. That's a Pokeball for a Snorlax. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> That's how big a Pokeball would have to be for a Snorlax. Wilmer. <laughs> That's the Flareon from earlier. Okay. okay, that's not bad. We look angry. Lucario. No, nah, that's yeah. Vaporeon. It, no, it is like Vaporeon. Nah, I think that's Vaporeon on that one. It could be, it could go either. Articuno, though. That's, well, that's kind of fun. That's Bro, fun. That Articuno is crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. That wingspan is wild. Pikachu. That's not a bad Pikachu. That's a female Pikachu. I think. Oh, that's a, that's a, um, that's a um, Vulpix. That's a uh, Vulpix. You, Vulpix? Yeah. <laughs> that's a really a Vulpix? <laughs> Give me a couple of That's a Vulpix. That is... Oh, it's, oh, the, it's, the it? punk, it's the punk aesthetic that they throw into it. That's yeah, getting me. Dope, bro. You know what I mean? It's yeah. that steampunk aesthetic that I'm liking with, with the gadgetry and stuff. That's got to be Vaporeon, but it, it could be Lucario. I can't tell. Rialu. And then Ivasaur. That's Chikorita that right there. Chikorita. You can see. <laughs> see this is why we don't take him nowhere. Oh, nigga, why. everybody know that's Big Dig B. <laughs> wow. I'm, I am so glad I took us off TikTok. That would have got me banned. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I literally just closed this off TikTok. I was streaming this on TikTok because you was like, "Oh, that's thing right there." I thought you was talking about that video. You never seen that video? I'm gonna send it to y'all. Oh wow! This is, this is Black Dot naming Pokemon, but the wrong name, and it's just like Asian I know, Asian. I know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm just saying, oh, yeah, I would not expect you to say what like, you said. Really mad, though. She's like, "He's doing it on purpose," da, 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 and they're showing, it, and he's like, "Oh yeah, you know." Wow. Mm. That shit is funny. Wow, wow. I still wow. got it in my phone, actually. That shit's funny. That shit old. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. That really does bring up the frog instead of Venus. A lot of people didn't even know it was a frog until, like, Gen 6. So. Right, that's right. And that's so the thing. Like, there's so I think that changing the aesthetic of it, of the art, would give gives it that um the ability to show little pieces that most people don't take into consideration. You know what I mean? Because like when you so much scarier. right, like people people are looking at it from like where it's been the entire time, so we expect it to look a certain way, you know. And if you do a reimagine of something, it allows you to pull out the actual aspects that people ignore just because we're people. <laughs> if that makes sense, sure. you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, this isn't factual. Well, technically, if you look in your own Pokedex, it says he is this, this, and this. So he would look closer to this than he actually does in the game, you know? Yeah, it wasn't Although until... 15 million toes, I'm not getting, but with claws. They brought got claws all the way around the bottom of the feet. But anyway. Mm. That, could be a style, that could be a style choice, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Just because like thorns and stuff from the plant portion, portion. Yeah, that makes sense. Because like a frog, like a frog flower. So mm -hmm. or a dinosaur flower. How you want to look at it? Eek! My head got big, got small. Oh Where no! That shrunken head. You imagine Q as a Jigglypuff. I'm not a Jigglypuff. <laughs> no, nah, I didn't have any Jigglypuff. No, no Jigglypuff. No Jigglypuff. It's not happening. Let it go. <laughs> um, we did have this conversation. I kind of want to toss it out to the rest of y'all on this one. No, we saw this before. Yeah, I was trying to get y'all Astro Boy boots. No, nah, nah, we were what? trying to get our Astro Boy boots. That definitely was not not on the agenda. Um, <laughs> that was not the move. Um, it's just like Uggs. The, no, those are worse than Uggs. Like, I saw boots. a video of somebody trying to pull them off, and they put they didn't have socks on. I'm like, what idiot in their right mind is gonna put on a plastic shoe with no socks, and you walking around foot sweating? Now you got a suction on the bottom of your foot, and you can't get your foot out. That would sound like Yo, dude. It was like three people trying to pull the boot off his off his leg. He couldn't. They couldn't get it. Could not Yo. get it to work. 
Yeah, I got like, one. No more, bro. I know Goku. Go. Oh, really? <laughs> Goku would have cut his arm off. That's what would have happened. <laughs> cut his whole leg off with that. Look at. I mean, Goku was yeah. wearing metal. Oh, was Remember nice. Dragon Ball? He was wearing bro, metal. He's, bro, he's fucking. Yeah, no. Nah, Goku, Goku would have. He'd have been like, "Oh, you need yeah, this off." Yeah, right, dislocated Who the knee. Who does a five forty, bro? <laughs> he'd have pulled it from the opposite this direction. McClung, that, that's the. And he put his high school jersey on to do it, like. Mm. That's so epic, bro. It's. Okay. Hey, you got to put the family back on the map. Hey, listen. Started from the bottom. Right. So who y'all got in this matchup? Who do you think? Who do you think would win? Me and Rod had this conversation a little bit earlier, but oh yeah, we was Vocab like, and Jay. What yeah. do y'all think? Who do you think's taking this dub and why? Only reason I'm going Astro Are we Boy to be because biased? I'm yeah, I mean, I'm being yes biased. Astro no. Boy. Oh okay, well Mega Man then. You said Mega Man. I'm, I I'm biased that. because because Mega, Mega, Mega Man is like so small that you can't see with a human eye. Really, <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done technically, with you. technically, I mean, that is a technical. That is, he's not lying. An uh, antivirus. Yeah, he's I mean, we had a good, we had a pretty good debate about this panda because I remember this was a because I know all I you got to do is insert malware and get rid of Mega Man. That's all. All of them. They're all yeah, mechanical. Have to insert malware. They all have malware. <laughs> they can all take malware he, to the hand. Yes, but. But Mega Man is small. But they're all okay. The if they're size. all the in the all in their respective universes, they are not small. They are human size. No, he, even in his regular universe, he's not human size. Hey, we got. Hey, what up, Jess Ward? Appreciate, Appreciate you following. You Appreciate you swinging through. Is that who I think it is? Is I that Waldo? Know. Waldo, Haraldo, Waldo. Where is Waldo, Waldo? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> As you can see, the craziness continues at all levels here. <laughs> they said no. <laughs> no. I thought that was my home way. This is it's Luigi. Yeah, it is Waldo. <laughs> oh wow. Go <laughs> Luigi. So uh, you know the so, only person who could disappear right in front of you, bro. So um Did he put what he right. put the ghost from Mario. He was like, Do you, you remember Ed, bro? No, From you know, no, I'm gonna start. We're gonna start calling him Skipper. Yo, you don't see anything <laughs> from Penguins no, Madagascar. Talking. So you missed it when um, Vo came back when we went to go see Wakanda Forever. We all went uh -huh. to Battle and Brew and we played Mario Party. So it was me, Vo, uh, Ed, Wifey, and some more people. We all playing, and he had Luigi. Okay. And so, like, he was like, just everybody was hit, hit, doing him dirty the whole game. And at the very end, wifey hit him with the um with the ghost, and, and she just picked random. She didn't pick him. She picked random, and it hit him. And he ended up being last place. Oh wow! <laughs> now they oh, were doing him dirty, man. Not like wow. Damn specific, like everybody. Like it was just <laughs> that. computer us. <laughs> I mean, what's the old saying? I mean, friendships are ruined through Mario Kart and Mario Party. I mean, hey, who knows in space? That's it. Oh, That's all. Awesome. Or Monopoly. Or Monopoly. As a family's not speaking to each other because of, because of them games we just said. <laughs> hey, look, don't step on my track. Don't step on my racetrack if you don't want that smoke. If you're not ready to eat dust, do not step on my racetrack in Mario Kart. I'm enough said. That goes for anybody. Even my little seven year old can get it. I don't hold back. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all something. Check this out. We were talking about Law and Order earlier. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, Monopoly, Law and Order. See? Yeah, Monopoly. Jumbo said Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Monopoly, will Monopoly it may it may take a week to finish the game, but at the end of that week, what makes Monopoly worse is you hate somebody because of the game, but you it takes so long to play. Ooh, that's a good one. You gotta go oh, time of hating. Uh, Which one is that one? Super electronic banking. This is the one with the debit cards. I got, I got one. You. Oh, I heard that's, about that one. I'm about to go get it. It's all. <laughs> <laughs> It's out the 
it's out my room. So, yeah. so, okay, so but I'm picking real, Astro real, Boy. I'm Astro picking Astro Boy. Boy. Okay. And then Vocab said Mega Man. Now, what would your your bias choice have been, Vocab? Huh? What would your bias choice have been? Oh, oh, so I just you know I grew up with Mega Man and, and watching him do shit that I was like, nigga, what? Why is you doing that? <laughs> I feel that. He used to, so it's he, he used to steal more of his powers and shit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, notorious. That was my notorious that was my big concern. Like, could he steal their powers? Oh, yeah, and that's, so that was where me and Rod in the That's what I'm about to say. Though. I was like, so really, this motherfucker just fuck these niggas up, take they they power. Now he beating them with it. they shit. But it's yeah. a power gap. But I think there's still a power gap though, because I'm thinking about raw power. Astro Boy. Yeah, Astro is what I was thinking about Metal Overlord from Sonic Heroes, but I'm not sure if, if Metal will be able to turn to Metal Overlord. Mm. See, and that that right there is where I think we're I think we're 50 50 because Jay and Rod both were saying Astro. Vo and me were both saying Mega Man. Rod that throw out there there's some possibles for Metal Sonic depending on certain things that right. might put him in the running. Um his speed. That but the thing is, Astro Boy's speed is comparable to Sonic's. Like the boy can move. Mm-hmm. Astro Boy true. got he got speed, but if Metal Sonic can move anything close or fast to the real Sonic, though, that's true. Too. I still think Astro could catch him. I still so think you Astro think Astro can Astro, can, Astro can catch the regular Sonic. I think Astro can catch the regular Sonic. Mega Man, no, nowhere near. Astro, I mean, we got Astro. we got crossover comments that could probably prove both with Metal and um with Metal and Mega Man because there was Sonic, Archie Comics did have a crossover with both the Sonic franchise and the Mega Man franchise. But 20, like 10, 15 years ago, who, who took that this. one? I don't remember. I have to let me see if I can look it up real quick. But I know it was Archie. I have have them in the chat. Uh, be the tiebreaker. What yeah, y'all saying, it. chat? Mega Man, Astro Boy, leave Metal Sonic out of it. He lost. It's See, too, Metal, 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 metal has potential. Has That's potential. We do, but That's we our votes is two to two. It's top. It's top row versus bottom row right now. It, this fool says Sonic. Oh, mm-hmm. Mega, Mega Man. Man. Jumbo says Mega Man. Get it. Mega Man. It says Sonic. Man, hold on. Let me see if I can find the crossover. Oops. Or the canon. Oh, it is canon to the comic books. I did not know that. Oh, shoot. I did not know that crossover was canon. Oh, wow. Oh, they got a death battle of it. Oh, okay. Let me see what they had said about it here. Oh, you know what? I did not know Mega Man. I did not know Mega Man was super. He had a super form in the crossover. Oh, this oh yeah, is a- yeah. Mega Man, Mega Man. See, and that was my thing about Mega Man when it came to Astro Boy is that he he has the ability to absorb any mechanical ability right. from another That's machine. So, well, so I got a thing. I want to throw somebody in there just because. Oh, are we adding extra people? Just because he's 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 not new generation, but he's newer than them. He gotta be okay. mechanical though. He is. Oh, okay, go ahead. Generator X. How? I, I kind of no. saw that no. coming. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of felt like that's what you where you was gonna go. When you was like he knew her, I was like, watch this nigga. Hold on, let me see. What the reason yeah, why see, they got did a they battle. got Mega Man being KO'd by Sonic, which that makes sense because of the speed variation. Like, if I can't catch you, I can't absorb you. I feel that. The problem is though. The problem I have with it is. If he ca- if he catches him in that blast, and depending on, for example, if Mega Man fought Astro Boy first, I feel he's tearing Sonic out the frame. But if it's a three way, I have a feeling Astro would take it because Sonic is gonna go after Mega, and then Astro is gonna catch Sonic. Right. Okay. So I think it depends on how the fight sets itself up with that. But Monty said Astro. So here's the thing. Looking up on Astro Boy specs, they don't have a speed spec on him. They only say that he can run up to 100,000 horsepower. 
Oh, that's slow. right. So that's running. But what about his flight speed? No, 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 not running. Like he can oh. generate. Generate hundred thousand. I should horsepower. say generate a hundred thousand horsepower. So I'm okay, looking up his on. flight speed. Hundred thousand is a shit ton. That's a lot. Horsepower. He the, the only thing they say on his speed is his is jet propulsion. It's like that's his, his so that's make seven, to move very fast. Seven million. Uh, oh, what is it? Okay. Nm. What is it? Whatever that is. And torque. Oh wow! I was just checking the summary for that cross. What is that in mock? If we can, if uh, we can so get that in mock, at... we can. Okay, I'm gonna go. I think yeah, it's it's between it's between Mega and and, and Astro at this point. I think Metal Sonic's out of this fight because if and going by the uh, the Sonic Mega Man crossover, guard, if Mega Man can turn super like Sonic in, then Metal Sonic is done. He's out. So he's 480 out HP is one is Mach one. Horsepower is Mach one. Okay. So divide 480 by 100,000, and that's the that's where you're looking at. Okay, 480. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I read that wrong. I, read that wrong. I was like, that's that did not seem right. Yeah, no, nah, I I knew what you meant. I was hoping that nigga would figure out what you was talking about. That's the when I started texting. I was like, yeah, put the uh, put the, the hundred thousand. Miles per hour, seven hundred sixty-seven miles per hour. There we go. And then we said we're trying to. He said he generates a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, do 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 do. 1,000 horsepower engine is about 217. That's that. That's 100. Well, that's 1,000. It's around so 217 many, miles per hour. That's what a 1,000 miles per hour. Yeah. 217. 217 horsepower for 1,000. So at a hundred thousand, you're looking at two hundred and seventeen thousand miles per hour, roughly. Yeah, sorry, y'all. We didn't know it was gonna turn into a math a math conversation today. Oh, we sorry, but Sonic <laughs> max speed is one hundred and eighty six thousand miles per second. Hmm. This is coming down to speed versus power, pretty much. That's, That's what it's gonna come down to. Yeah. Honestly, That's his max speed. That's his max. Honestly, this would be more honestly. Now that I'm thinking about this, this would be a more interesting fight if it wasn't classic Mega Man. If it was Mega Man X, this would be an even more interesting fight. Oh, you, we, yeah, yeah, dude, we didn't say which version of him either. So I mean break the net navy. And that never's huh? busted. <laughs> that never probably won. Yeah, EXE will probably be both. Right. Yeah, EXE, I won't even EXE is busted. But so is X with its potential means. So I got a question. Let's change it like this. Base fight, just strictly base. Oh, base. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it, got it. Mach 19 just... is, is 14,462 miles per hour. Mach 1 is 761 miles per hour. So at 100. Sonic base around Mach 2. Yep. Sonic base is Mach 2. That is 1,522,000 miles an hour. And at 50, so at 44,911 44, miles per hour, it's Mach 59. That's half. That's a little less than half of what Astro can do. 
So you're looking at at least Mach 118 to 120. Which is killing Mach 2. I said base. So that's the that's mile base power conversion. Huh? I would, I would tell the vocal, he said he's it's killing something. I'm like, that's just base Sonic. I said right, that's right, right. killing Mach 2 is what I said. But that's I just said Sonic's base is Mach Two. Okay, I get that. That's what you, you said. Trying to, be, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be sleep. <laughs> you know, I said Mega Man, and you said <laughs> Astro Boy. So I don't know why we even talking about Sonic. And this real side. I don't know either. <laughs> A side tangent. I, I was Sorry, like, no, the it's reason why tangent. because because nobody was vouching for Metal Sonic. I'm like, well, what if Metal Sonic is faster? No, he's it, not it though. <laughs> I was like, we knew it was gonna come down to Astro versus Mega, but we had to figure it out. We had to make sure. You gotta do your due diligence. No, that's no, what no problem that. We've had that, that conversation before too, like about people doing these verses and stuff. And it's like, you if you want to do a versus, do a legit versus, which is one of the reasons why I like death battles. Like they actually do the research on the characters and the map before they start we start spitting out stuff of oh, this is this, this is that. Like for, for those watching, we will tell you if this is our opinion on something. Heads up. But if it comes down to us really wanting to know, this is the type of stuff that we will do for y'all. Yep. We don't care if it's the middle of the stream or not. We will figure it out who's going to win and call it a day. Like, this one's been put to rest. Ash, uh, Mega is uh, not Mega. Sonic is not anywhere in this conversation right now. Now, between the other two, I think it this depends is- on if Mega can catch, his, catch him up with him or not. Because Astro's the type that he'll, he's like Goku. I hate to say it. Astro's like Goku. He will sit there and he will sit there and fight you on even terms until he feels that he's pissed. You know what? I'm going back to what Jay said. This is just base. I think Astro Boy get it because because base Mega Man would not have any abilities if you're going you're going to go straight. Are we going? Based. So are we going off base Astro and base Mega because base Mega can still pull from another mechanical. I think the yeah. question I I I'm not disagreeing, but I say I feel that it would come down to how much energy could he absorb off of Astro. For who? Mega? Right. Because Astro's Astro's energy is unlimited. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he can continue generating for forever. Oh, it's an infinity engine, like the engine. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. So I think the question is how much energy can Mega hold without blowing up? Don't blow up. Because if he absorbs him once, I doubt he gets that. Uh, he's not going to get that. Uh, he's not going to get that chance more than once because he's not fast yeah. enough. Yeah, you know what it, I mean. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's looking like Astro wins just because. Just, just. Yeah, it, you want to argue Mega, but right. You, yeah, I can see the argument, but if you're just looking at it and thinking about it, it it's Astro just because of just the statistics. Yeah, because statistically, I, it's yeah, it's got to be Astro, and I was on Mega side, so I yeah, I gotta, I gotta say Astro on that one. Or they borrow DBZ power scalings. Mega Man is definitely a planet buster. I wouldn't say Mega Man is a planet. Mega Man is a planet buster, but I think Astro is almost on like that above planet buster status. If you want to use? That. Oh yeah, he's most definitely. He's most definitely. I mean, when you can generate the amount of energy that he can without completely passing out, yeah, yeah. That's definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, let me get this pulled here. All right. So I had to rearrange uh, what I was doing. Sidebar. We Go have another Hellboy coming out. Oh, what? word. That's... And I got another. Oh, another Hellboy's coming out? Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm with it. Same uh, actor as last time? I don't know. Okay. They got go ahead. Uh, they also got Children of the Core coming out too. Um, March third. Ooh, Children of the Corn on Mar- in March. Yep. Me and Ten don't count. Why would they do that? Me and Ten solo. I mean, in March, like, why would they do that in March? You know what I mean? White people. <laughs> That's always my answer. I, you know what? I'm not gonna argue that. I'm not gonna. Not gonna argue. I would, that just, that I feels like children. it should be an October thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel I like mean, that should be an October thing. Yeah, um, no, horror, horror reboots. I don't know. Like me, like me and Shanique were watching. Um, they came out with a reboot of. Um, 
Um, they just came out with a reboot of Jeepers Creepers. We were watching that last night, and oh my god, not I'm, Jeepers Creepers. No, it was whack. Like it should have been way better. It's a new one. Trash. Yep, it's, on, it's, wow. it's on. It's on Hulu. Okay. Yeah, they need. Bro, because you know it's not gonna be as good as the first one. First it, it two. Was, it was whack. I mean, it was whack. It, it could have been way better. It could have been way, way better. After the second one, I was like, like, well, check your phone. No. Damn. <laughs> I'm looking at this Benton solo, making me think. Mm. Kirby could probably be now, real quick, I do minute. want to throw this out there. This is something that passed, so if y'all get a chance, cool. check it out. There was a Hawkman oh. uh, Valentine's yeah. Day special. It actually was voiced that. by I'm these two. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hey. this it's horrible. It was voiced by these two, so I was I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Let me get my head out. Yeah, the shut the up. You have not watched Abbott yet, Panda. Come on, man. <laughs> I but knew, I knew that that voice. Voice. when I heard he was going overseas. I said, Watch this nigga snap over there, bro. I'm sorry. What are y'all talking about? So, um, Dwight Howard just had a basketball game, and he's over there in Taiwan playing my career. Uh, These are his stats from the last game. He's playing my career, bro. This oh, nigga wow. playing 2K, bro. 84 points, 37 rebounds, nine assists, and 14 blocks. Wow. Over there playing, he playing it on rookie. Yeah, literally. That ain't rookie. That's less than rookie. <laughs> That's like now nah, rookie's the smallest. G G League rookie. You know what? I, can that. <laughs> I can respect that. I can Monty, which you. which were you saying it was good? What um, what was pro- what did you enjoy? What you talking no, about? I mean, Street, or you talking about this Hawkman thing? Yeah, she's probably talking about the Hawkman thing. I didn't get. I haven't watched Holly Quinn yet, but I've heard great things about it. Okay, it's, it's definitely on my list to watch, but yeah, you should watch Abbott Panda because that is a very funny sitcom. Yo, I will have to get into that. We forgot something. We what do we forget? What do we forget? Quantum Mania. I didn't see it yet. I haven't seen it yet. No, no, it was dead. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know I haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked into it yet. I'm not gonna lie. I need to because of Kang. This weekend. I gotta see how they're doing this Kang thing. I've heard um, good things. I've heard good things about Kang, but I haven't heard anything good about it, man. No, so no, no. we have Quantum Mania, and then not next week, but we got the next. We got Creed three. Oh, I, oh, I gotta, oh yeah, I gotta finish watching Creed oh, two. Yeah. I didn't hear about Creed 3. Watch it on and V-Day actually, since somebody didn't want to spend V-Day with me. I'm, I'm sorry to hear. We had that conversation. What was it the day before? I was like, I'm going to need him, whoever him is, to get his stuff together because, like, you can't be out here V-Day-less. Ooh. Someone's <laughs> slipping. Someone's slipping. Somebody, I heard, I heard somebody was slipping. I don't know who, but I heard somebody was slipping. So, um. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> drink some water. <laughs> but um, since we own, since we own Marvel, I got. We might as well go down that rabbit hole because you know, you know that once we get here, Are we going down there, it's gonna be a minute. Jump it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out a hot take. Okay. I don't care if y'all get mad at me or not. I love y'all dearly, though. We all still family. Wakanda was not always cracked up to be. Wait, what? Say what now? Wakanda was not all it's cracked up to be. And what I gotta hear. Uh, I, and I what can't aspect? hear you. I can't. I, I thought you said something. <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard something. Jay, Wakanda, Jay's what I said it the first time. You said Wakanda is not all it's cracked up to be. Wakanda what was aspect? not all it was cracked up to and be. And what aspect? I, 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 I give him a pass. As far as the black. Oh, the movie Wakanda forever. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, Wakanda forever. Oh, as far as the black excellent goes. It was oh, on point. Okay. I loved I it. I like the way that Wakanda, um, like the place Wakanda. No, 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 no. I like how they did uh in oh, Baku. Yeah. I like how I like how they showed that so, that softer side of him, that that oh, okay. mentoring side of him. Okay. You know what I mean? I think that was great. I mean, Auntie I'm not gonna lie to you. Auntie. It she she is her, you know what I mean? I can't you can never take that away from her. However, it was Pacing wise, it was extremely slow. Um, 
as far as the relationship between Namor and Shuri, I feel that they were they were like, oh, we don't want to do a love story, but we want to do a love story. So they half asked it like it. You you saw the, the quote unquote tension in there. But then they were like, oh, mm-hmm. well, we're not going to we're not going to show the whole tension in there. We're just going to give you all the illusion that it's there. And it's like, if you're going to make it, make it. Let it let it do what it do and call it a day. Um, I don't know what just happened here with my picture, y'all. Anyway, um, yeah, no, mine, mine just dropped out. I'm gonna fix it here in a second. I'll be back. Ugh. Okay, fix it. I mean, it was a, I mean, well, quite a bit. I, I enjoyed it for what it was, considering, considering everything they had to do. I mean, I, I mean, I've, what, it wasn't that I didn't enjoy it, right? It was more so just that, from for what the, for what the the hype was around it. I feel like it could have been better. The fight scenes were okay. They were mid. Okay. From a Marvel Ugh. Marvel movie standpoint, the fight scenes were mid. And I feel I like y'all it. brought in Namor. Namor is one of those top tier characters. You brought this man in. I thought it was cool the way they did it. But then yeah, the way they introduced you him was didn't definitely. use him to his full potential. That okay, okay, I can agree with that. I can agree with that I because I, I thought they should have did the. Th- I thought they were going to do the Three Kings storyline and just sub out right Tyler for Shuri. That's what I thought the entire time. I thought they were going to do that. You know, I, I feel know, like I, okay. I just feel like there are ways that they could have the they could have boosted that. I enjoyed the movie, but I'm gonna tell you why. Wakanda Forever wasn't all that. All right, because they killed Angie. That's it. That's all there is to it. They killed Angie. You lost me right there. The moment Angie died, I said, "Call y'all." Oh, damn. Okay. I can't, so, I can't argue with that, but how could you argue with that? It's Angie. I fight you. She could have. She could have. She could have passed a lot earlier in the movie. I'm gonna be honest. Listen, don't be killing Angie. No, nah, I see what they were trying to do. Uh, I'm about to say something controversial. They were trying to set up Shuri like Boruto. I know Jay's gonna hate me saying this, but <laughs> it's the reality. <laughs> they kind of they kind of Boruto to Shuri a lot. They my sword. Where's my they sword? They did 100 percent 100 percent Sorry, Jay. I had to bring Boruto up. It's the, no, it's you didn't. That this that is a genjutsu. You need to snap out of it. Look. Open your eyes. All I'm saying is I'm not I'm not they age Riri. They all that's the other thing. They they age Riri. They did every angle. Yeah, because they really did that. I mean so oh, that was the other part good, of it. Though. But why, I don't see good. why I understand where she's from. Hold on, I understand where Riri's from, right? They call her in college, bro. Well, it's not just that. The fact that I understand where she's from. Why she have to be the angry ghetto black chick though? That too, because Riri is not even that. Not in the comic book. Right. Was... I mean, we don't know if Riri that because she's not that old. <laughs> exactly. She we don't right. Exactly. It's That's what I'm saying. It's Young Riri. Yes. Okay. Well, no, let's, let's let's not get it twisted. Like they ain't young. 12, 13 year old ghetto ass chicks out here. Right, but I just don't feel really that someone is. with that level of an intellect no. is gonna come off like that. No, I'm saying, Not saying that they cannot. Like, well, we don't know because she's young, but there are definitely some ghetto ass chicks at, at Riri's age. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Definitely. Uh-huh. Definitely. Some people you try you to keep know. your kids away from. So let's ask the J. <laughs> oh, mine, Monty, had, like, Monty has a good point. They did minimize. I didn't like like we had yep. a Black Panther movie, but didn't see a Black Panther movie for like twenty minutes. Exactly. That's that. Um, was, the whole movie was really just mourning. It was and understandable. I will not take that. No, not, not at all. Um, no, I do not all agree right. with that one, Monty. I don't agree. I I actually like how they, that was they added Killmonger for no reason. That they added for a perfect reason. I, I agree with Nar- I agree with them adding Killmonger. Sense. Narrative, it makes sense. When you think about the parallel, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I wasn't mad at the narrative. With, with now, Killmonger. I will say this, though. 
they should have introduced that entire scene much earlier in the movie, and there should have been more dialogue between her and Killmonger as I'm she good. was doing things as the Black Panther. Kind of to combine what you were saying about the, the her second point, Jay, uh, about minimizing Black Panther. Yeah, she should have so, had to actually fight with Killmonger about that. That would have been hopefully maybe this is the deleted scene or an extended scene somewhere. I, I would hope we'll talk about deleted scenes later because when I feel like they should have kept in the movie just to just to make it like hit a little more. But um, my thing was uh. Let that part I already go, know. I already know Monty gonna say something about little T'Challa because yeah, I know she hates that. Go. Let that part go. We 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 we're gonna let that go. Wait, but that part. Yeah, yeah. when I when I watch this Black Panther movie, I'm gonna tell you what it did for the whole MCU for me. It made me realize that these are just fans making their version of of the a series. Yep. Mm-hmm. When I think of, when you think about it, when you think about it like that, now. Nah, you gotta understand the story is not gonna be the way we want it to be. So this is my argument. I'm gonna I'm I'm take that one hit from her. Did not like T'Challa having a child with his stalker. If you know what I mean, in the comic books, <laughs> yep. Oh girl was that's his stalker. A, that's a point. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. That's his only point. his child was with Storm. Storm. Did not yep. like that. Yeah. Now we have for the story for the storyline that we're getting, cool. But f- yeah. from us who already knew that Black story, Panther? didn't like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love um, Mbaku. MCU Mbaku is my favorite character. Yeah. He is a no, villain. I, I, he is right, hands down. MCU <laughs> so, a mood. I'm not gonna lie. When we got Black Panther, when they said Black Panther, I'm like, are they gonna is Mbaku gonna side with Namor or something? Because Mbaku is right. a villain. Ooh, that would have been right. good. That would have right. been a good idea. <laughs> I that thought about that. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Another thing, um, the Killmonger scene. I felt like that scene was the one thing in the movie that the movie really needed because it showed that you can be a king in more than one way. Like Killmonger was not wrong. He was yeah. technically he was not. The way he just it did it the wrong way. His methods were 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 not the right way. Killmonger, Killmonger, and Neymar was basically the same person. Yep. And a lot of ways you could say Sherry and and Killmonger were kind of the same person until she met until they had that talk. You could probably say the same thing. Oh, okay. Now I, I want to hit y'all some on the deleted scene. Y'all remember when Sherry? I mean, I said Sherry. Sherry was down there with Killmonger. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a deleted scene to where he meets her in the in the one room, like when she's held captive with Riri, right? Then you get the scene when she leaves, and then then the next scene is him and her sitting there talking. Right. They slept together. In the deleted oh, yeah. scene. What? Yeah. They slept together in the deleted scene. Yeah, that's why I was like, they they uh, they oh, wait, to it, wait, they, wait, nah. wait. Right. Wait, I'm I'm finna help you right. Wait, wait. who slept with who slept with who? Make sure I'm understanding. Shiri and Namor. Shiri, Shiri and Namor. Yeah. Now I'm I'm finna oh, okay. I'm finna show you I I'm finna show Shiri you how, how okay. why they should have just... kept that in the movie. Remember, like the scene when they was talking, that was like the the morning after. He was asking her to be his queen. It would have made so much sense if we would if that led up to us knowing yeah. like they slept together, or whatever. That would have made so much sense. That would have made the movie right. a little bit more deaf with a little. Let me say something corny as hell, please. Don't say it. Go ahead. <laughs> he gave her his wet willy. <laughs> wow. You know hey, what? Hey, we can, what can I say? <laughs> Kill Mo- I mean, what can I say? Nimoy got a thing for Black Cat. Oh, most Jeez. definitely. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Hey, you know listen, what? it's it's fun to be immature. Hey, that's that man over there. Uh, but and we already knew he liked it. Wait, see, okay, so stop. immature money said. <laughs> but um, I feel like that deleted scene should should have been in the movie. Like they didn't they have to you know, show context. it. They didn't have to yeah. show it, but they could have like had us know that. Oh, 
Yeah. It would have made it would have made sense. It would have made sense. It would have been like um nah. I I'm will say this Wonder, though. I'm thinking of Wonder Woman for some reason, but I don't know why I'm thinking of Wonder Woman with this. Another movie. thing that ticked me off was the whole Riri thing, or you know, about the whole you know aging up thing. Um the suit. Is yeah, Riri gonna make it. another suit? But wait a minute, isn't Riri I know she's like 15, 16 in the comics. So she's mm-hmm. she's younger than she that. Was, I thought she was 15, 16. I could have sworn she was like 13. 13, 14. I thought that she was 15 this whole time. Oh damn. Okay, never mind. Okay. I see Marty's um, point now. Yeah, I thought she yeah, was, yeah, I thought she was 15. That's my that's my bad. But, I okay, with the age up, that means Riri should have had the suit already in the movie. But she didn't make the suit till she went to Wakanda. Now the suit is in Wakanda. What's gonna happen? She gonna make another suit or what? But wait, this is their way of a, reintroducing Tony. Yeah, they're gonna have the Tony AI. That's almost a given. That's almost a given. Yeah, that's almost. This is just gonna be their way of reintroducing, allowing Tony to come back in in, in her now, side. Th- my last point. Um, the Agent Ross thing. What's his name? His name. What's the white guy's name? Harrison Ford. Yeah. Colonizer. How you talking about Hulk? Colonizer. No, I don't know why I oh, thought uh, Ross. Oh, Colonizer. Okay. But him, yeah, yeah. Colonizer. When I when, when the first time I watched, I felt like that was so unnecessary. I felt like his whole piece in the movie was unnecessary. And then I saw a little end credit with him, and I knew it was building up to. Yeah, like that's the only thing I love about Marvel. They're always building stuff. So anything that seems small, like that, I feel like the movie would have still been the movie. We have his little little two cents and anything in there. Right, 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 right. In a Koye show, that's gonna make so much sense. Right. They had to in order to lead, they had to put that in there in order to in order to lead to Midnight Angel. So true. And then the most of the Riri stuff just setting up Ironheart shows. So it's kind of like right. Black Panther 2 was setting up I guess you can say too many cooks in the kitchen because you were setting up the Midnight Angel show. You were kind of setting you up got Namor, show. you got yeah. a Koye show. Right. It's a lot of moving parts. That was a lot of, of the moving part sequel. That's all. So I talking. feel like I'm not going to take it as I took. I'm not going to receive Black Panther kind of forever as I received Black Panther strictly because right. I feel like one is not the Black Panther that they wanted to make. It's mm-hmm. the one that they felt they had to make to fill a void. It, it was mainly for all, you know, mourning. Right, and it was mainly to intertwine a lot of stories. I mean, I feel the same way about Multiverse of Madness. True, no, I didn't. I did. I felt the same way, roughly, about the Multiverse of Madness because you had the, that movie set up for at least five or six different shows, three or four <laughs> five shows and movies. Oh, shit. moving forward. Oh, Commodore, what we got, how they said, what would you do if you had? Problem with anime. My problem is I had a huh? Looking forward to a better future and like heroic vibes and segment. Ambitious future, a future worth being a part of improving but those anime I think uh this was twenty five years ago. Made it in the year nineteen ninety eight didn't make me feel the best times were around. I'm sorry, I'm I'm confused as to where this comes from. Man, that's kind of random. What you mean, Commodore? We'll come back to that here in a second. Put put what you mean by it, like we because that kind of came out of nowhere from what we're talking about right now. Um, so feel free to put what you need, what you what you mean by that in there. Oh, no, right, just anime tag. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I have to give me a second to unpack that one here uh, while we finish this part up, and then I'll, I'll see what see what we can go on on that part. I see um, what Monty, yeah, I, I can kind of agree with Monty. I didn't like the original idea that we're going for either. I don't know why they just didn't do why they were not going to do three kids. You could have introduced Doom. I mean, that that's what I was waiting on. The all of them. They're not going to touch Doom yet. They're not gonna touch Doom until they get Kang situated. Ugh. 
You know, you know they're not. We we had that conversation, right? <laughs> I know, but it's just like you're literally doing. You you literally have everything set up to do three kings. I mean, seriously, yeah. Yeah. that's the thing. Like I can see people mad about that because if you know the comic books, that's like such an obvious story what they were trying to do. It would have made yeah. more sense. You know, um, you- this is the thing. You know, with Marvel, everybody has a, I guess you would say, a vision of what they're gonna do. And they're trying to hit you with something that you're not, um, you're not expecting. Oh, I see. Yep, I can see what you're going for. I can see that, Jay. I mean, I always say different verse, different rules for everything. I know some people don't like that, but every you, every, I know some people didn't like the um, Flash CW show. And, uh, yeah. I love the Flash CW yeah. show. Oh, so, Flash CW. Are, are we gonna talk so, about that? About what I gotta part? catch up. As, yeah, as the as Flash well. movie. Yeah, yeah, we will in a second. We will in a second. Okay, um, it doesn't exist. Yeah. It, right, that's a genjitsu. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now that um, <laughs> So I will say this. So before we get to the flash, to kind of segue over to DC, my second take, second hot take that I had. That was my first one about Wakanda. Second one was Black Adam was better than people gave it credit for. Wait. Um Mundo. I, I'm gonna stay quiet. Know. On I'm gonna stay quiet on this one, <laughs> So here's why personal, I say that, I'm gonna say, right? I'm gonna say quiet for personal reasons. Here's here's why I say that. Um, one, the Rock is the Rock. Okay, in saying that, I mean this: we all know he's not an actor. He's not like that's not what he does, right? It is now. Well, he's an actor, but it's not. He's not. Uh, we're not gonna get a Denzel Washington performance out of the rock. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That that's what I mean. Like we're there's a certain there's a certain level of acting that you expect with it. There's also a certain level of acting you expect with DC movies. Now let me let me put that in there specifically, right? For what it was to introduce Black Adam into the series. They could have done so much worse as far as the story and how they did it. Um, as far as how they did, for example, I think the addition, I think the best way to put it, I think, is how kind of how we summed up Black Panther 2. It was made to set up other shows, right? That That was how I took Black Adam. It was to give us another piece of the universe that DC has not touched yet. Because if you remember in the last show that we did, we talked about when we talked about DCU, our biggest thing was that they keep harping on the same characters, right? They keep harping on the same characters. Well, Commodore, you have a good one. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things are all right. Like I said, we'll get there uh, later. But as far as DCU goes, they keep doing the same people: Superman, Batman. Flash, you know what I mean? Like they keep using the same characters over and over and over and over. With that being the case, Black Adam opens that other side of the of the can that they have not opened up yet. Right? It pulls it out of Gotham. It pulls it away from Harley Quinn and, and Joker and Batman, and it gives us that other side of DC that we know is open. Lobo, uh, Hawkman, Doctor Fate. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it, it pulls from Shazam a little bit because it's Black Adam, but it also allows them to tie any Superman they want back into it if they want to later on as time goes on. Um, it opens up the Justice Society, right? Instead of the Justice League, it opens those other realms up for it. And it's exactly, it's, it's a reset. It was basically a DCU reset. And I feel that for what it was, it did a good job. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was like, I don't think it was. I'm not saying it was a great movie, but I think it was better than what people what people gave it credit for because of the job that it was supposed to do. <laughs> She's saying the door was closed and locked and thrown away and burnt. <laughs> so why? I mean, but if you burn the door, does it really matter that it was closed or locked? I mean, oh, they, 
that it's 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 over at that point. Like I don't think they'll do another Black Adam movie. That's done, especially from everything I've been seeing from between Gun and the Rock and all that. He they got some beef. It looked like. Um, oh, well, he's and I wasn't, really looking, I wasn't really looking forward to a different one, a new one. Now, don't get me wrong, the character of Black Adam, I feel like they could have went farther with it, but I don't. I don't feel that it was as bad as people said it was. But that's just that's just my take on it after after finally seeing it. I mean, it was all right for a DC movie, but I mean, am I gonna watch it again? Nope. Was it was I forced to watch? So no, I'm, I'm be quiet. No, no, no. Speak. I'm be quiet. Nope, I'm be quiet for my own safety. I'm be quiet <laughs> for your own safety. <laughs> We're not gonna harm you. No, no, it's not us. He worried about. <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> DC I shows are always better. Yes, hundred percent, hundred. If only, if only DC would just do. I'm just saying this out loud right now. You know, I know this is never gonna happen, but DC, DC should really take a note from Sony and just do an animated version, Justice League, that's like Into the Spider Verse. But that will never happen, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Let me tell you how the rules I live by: Marvel movie, DC TV. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith that eventually they will work out. So here, hear me out. Hear me, hear me out. Hear me out, dude. So I'm gonna talk to y'all like this, dude. Thank you. She said it. Just I'll just about. I'm not. I I don't plan on seeing the Flash movie. Take that back. I don't plan on paying to see the Flash movie. I respect that. Um, I will see it. I will see it. Illegally, <laughs> but um, when I say the that fact out loud, that, <laughs> I, I said out loud. I don't, what they gonna do to me? I uh, yeah. True. But um, my That's thing bad. is, my thing is, this movie is what DC needs right now because just Flash? because of the Flashpoint paradox. Yes, if they want to reset, this is what they need right now. They're not. They're not going nowhere else with Ezra. You can flashpoint and change everything. They're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna do it. DC I'm always just saying. Pushes, DC always. I'm just saying. Status quo. I'm gonna say that right now. If they had any sense, half sense, they can use why this. Why, to why fix do we everything. even have a movie with Ezra in it right now? Thank you. I don't know. That's, that's my point in the whole Flash movie. This movie should not even exist, right? At least not with with Ezra in it. Do I mean, the, um, if it had been anybody else, any anybody else, if it had been Jonathan Majors, if it had been uh CW Flash. Heck, it could have been The Rock. It don't matter. If it had been CW anybody would have made of color. Logical sense. DC would have made logical sense. Because you could have said this would not have gone season. through. You could have said my guy just done 26 of- years of prison. 26 years of prison, he just ducked for some probation. Yeah. After a, a solid, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 different infractions within a year, including burglary, second degree assault, grooming, you name it, it's almost there. Other than other than actual murder, it's in there. And they're like, well, well yeah, we'll still work with them. That says a lot about your company. I'll say that just as simple mm-hmm. as you that says a lot about your company like, and organization. You are the company you keep. Over a year, bro. Like how did it was like every other month? January, March, April, June, August. It just it was just constant time over time over time. Yep. Makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. Choking people out at bars. Grooming kids. Right. 
And he gets a he got a ninety day suspension, uh, ninety days in jail, a five hundred dollar fine, twelve month probation. Mm. He had felony burglary charges. Yep, and got out of them bad boys. And they're like, "Well, yeah, we'll still work with him." Houseway. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> You talking right. about the Flash in the new movie, bro? Oh, okay. Like I thought, how? I was like, Panda, why are you robbing people? <laughs> <laughs> like it's, I don't, it's not gonna be what is money said. The trailer, it's amazing. Movie's gonna be flat. Oh yeah, the trailer is the only thing amazing about it. It's one of those movies where they're gonna show the best parts in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Panda, is a villain. Much. Panda is a villain. You didn't know? <laughs> you didn't know? You better ask somebody. Ooh, good lord. So <laughs> hey, hey, hey. JK put my name on the streets like that. You know, they don't know yet. <laughs> we been new. You didn't know? Yeah. Well, you better call somebody. But yeah, it's, I don't know. Like I said, that, I, I agree with what you're saying. Yes, it can be. <laughs> he said fans watching. Uh, it could definitely be a reset point that would make complete sense if they were gonna from a from a storyline standpoint. Yes, I agree with you. Flashpoint would allow them to reset literally everything. Will they do it? No, they're not smart enough. And that's the sad part. They ain't got the balls to do it. They just they, I, they don't. I mean, they wouldn't even they wouldn't don't. even let they wouldn't even let Batman and Catwoman stay married be married in the comics. They ain't gonna. And I remember. I, See so many DC people like you know what DC after that and you know what I don't blame them the way they hyped that event up I do not blame them. yeah yeah I do not blame them the last good um continuation DC ever had was the Dark Knights that was almost twenty years ago at this point yeah pretty much been that long pretty much. One count the Joker movie. Ooh, did y'all see them screenshots for, with Lady Gaga as Holly Quinn? Ooh, good, good. I didn't even try to. I like that new. I'm, that, that's my thing. Like, like you said, they they keep going back to it. This the that's why I say I feel I feel that Black Adam gave them the out that they needed to go the other direction to lean away from Batman. You know what I mean? And they're mm-hmm. still walking right back into the same trope. That's why I'm like, even though, yeah, the flashpoint would be perfect, they're not gonna do it. You know what I mean? Money said, I'm um, like uh, Peter and MJ is any better, or Sue and Richard and Francis. First off, Sue and Richard were always together. Let's let don't don't knock Sue and Richard. No, they may not have gotten. I don't remember if they got married or not. Did they get married? I can't remember. But they were still. They got they married. Were already, they were already, I thought they were already uh, married. Some kind of news. They were already married before they started. Before they went into Fantastic Four. Plus, Franklin was there, so I mean, you got we at least got Franklin out of the situation. You know what I mean? So, okay, we're not gonna talk about Marvel superheroes cheating. Okay, we're not gonna talk about how superheroes cheat on a regular basis. They I mean, she was what they the one time. <laughs> Storm and was Dr. out here. Yeah. Storm was and out Dr. here Dr. doing her thing, like she was and a goddess. Hella. What'd you expect? I mean, hell, I mean, Valeria, Valeria could be Doctor Doom's world. Well, no, I mean, hey, hey, throw that one. I want to throw that one out there. So, storyline. How many times you see the storyline is boring? I mean, what do what do you? You know what? Okay, question for everybody. Feel free to take a few minutes to think That's about it? this, okay. and then respond. What? I don't think would they be care about your me. ideal superhero. Storyline or villain? Hmm. Are we doing franchise movie or what? No, no, no. Like if you if you were creating a new new character, new franchise, new everything is nothing. Nothing currently on. You know what I'm saying? Currently on screen, you can use people for examples if you need, right? But if you could if you could detail out your your preferred character arc for a for a movie because there's a difference between a movie and a tv show right so you can pick which one you okay. want to go with i might i, I might have one because this is something i've been thinking about 
Maybe what not would your preferred arc say, be? I, what would be in it? I like a superhero. Like I would do something where it's like a hero that I always like. They were lump the hero or like they hear or someone who became a hero just because of circumstance. Mm-hmm. So like someone who like their or their legacy or something like that, and they end up becoming that hero. So like this is a story idea I kind of toyed around with, and I never went with it. I had this idea for a story where there was like a transformation that certain black folks can do, but you have to have X amount of certain relatives in your family in order to pull off the the transformation, and you can only do it once per generation. So let's say it's like let's say it's like Super Saiyan. It's probably the easiest way I can explain it. So let's say Super Saiyan, for example, was like Super Saiyan God. Probably the easiest way I can explain this. So let's say you're the and only the oldest of the particular generation can have the power. So let's say, let's say, okay, I'm the oldest out of my generation, out of like my, my sister, my cousins, and everybody. I'm the oldest. Mm-hmm. So let's say I had the power, I had like super strength, speed, and everything, but unbeknownst to the other siblings or someone younger, they didn't know that I was supposed to have the oldest child of the next generation to pass the power on. So let's say my sister, my cousin has a has a baby. The power is then just transferred to them, but they don't know that. So I know I'm losing my powers. I'm like, why am I losing my powers? I'm like, oh damn, I didn't have the oldest child. So now, mm. so now the story is about me trying to keep the secret from my cousins, and I'm like, hey, every oldest person in our generation has this power. You're the next one in line to have this power. Mm. But okay, so what? I guess more so what I'm looking for, first off, that's a hard idea. I like that. Um, I'm going to need you to write that out. Now that you've you spoken, I'm spoken about it. Right, we're going to need that worked on um, immediately, sir. Um, <laughs> you got like five what, pockets for it. What in the storyline, though? What what ups and downs? What types of conflicts? What Because the reason the reason the, que- uh, the question came up is because Monty was like, the storyline was boring. What in a storyline would make it interesting for you? It doesn't have to be the specifics of the story, but what is it in a story that you look for that makes it interesting to you? Um, familiarity. Something that I can um basically but, something that I feel like is genuine in a sense. Okay. Like I'm trying to think of a good example. Static shot. Okay. Okay. Think about the story of static shot. Kid um was in the wrong place, wrong time. Right. And stuff happened. That's something that can happen to anybody. Right. Now, let's change it over. Millionaire child, parents get killed in the alley, and I have millions of dollars to do what I need to do after that. Not a lot of people can resonate with that. Mm-hmm. Not saying it's not a good story, but for me, I rather something that I feel like it actually happen. Well, not with the powers, of course, but like right. the story itself makes right. more makes me into it with the story than anything. Okay, so something something that can be relatable to your day to day. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. I really not can't think fine. of the word. <laughs> <There> <laughs> no, no, I, get, I understand. That word. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> So okay, relatability. Relatability. That's, a, that's understandable. I can see that. Okay. Okay. What else? What what keeps a, a, a story rolling for you? And Monty, I know I get what you're saying, but that's what okay. your comment made me think about this question because it's something that okay. we talk about when we're talking about these movies. Here we go. Okay. Let me add to it. Something relatable, but not predictable. But not predictable. Okay. Ooh. So may I, just to make sure I'm clear on what you're saying, Luke Cage, the show. To me, that was predictable. It was. That second season was garbage. I'll say that. Right would that now. would that equate to kind of what you're talking about? Like it the was way? relatable. It, it had a second season. It yeah, the second season was trash. He said it, it was your juice, nigga. Second season was trash. We don't talk it, it, about it, it, Bruno. We don't talk about, <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. Okay. We don't talk about about Jumbo says a hero is only as good as his villain, and they That's killed off his daddy. villain. That is a very good take. That is definitely yeah. an MCU problem. That's now, can, MCU. can I say something since we're talking on that? Um, yeah. In y'all personal opinion, 
who's Spider Man's best villain? His best, Green one? best villain, Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Green Goblin. So you going with Green Goblin? He's Green Goblin. Best, he's best Green one Goblin. Like the one he's that. No, 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 no. I was, I was saying what he said. The he's lit. In all he's honesty, lit. what you mean by that? Though? Honestly, like in, in, in your opinion, himself, Spider-Man has a lot of villains. Yeah, it's himself. When you say his best one, though, you mean like as far as competition, story, story. Like, well, That's like, what I was waiting on. Kingpin, Kingpin. It's a Kingpin. Yeah, Monty said. Goblin. I said Kingpin. Kingpin. I but, I I'm talking about. I see an argument for Kingpin, but he's a villain so, for a lot of people. So, oh, he I'm, is. Yeah, definitely. He he is. Uh, any basically anybody in New York for real, for real. Yep. Uh, Keep it a bar. But um, when I say best, I mean um, when you think of this hero, that's the first villain that you think about with them. Mm-hmm. Batman. What's right. the first person you gonna say? Joker. Joker. Superman. Luke Spider Man. I say him. Green Goblin. Yeah, if, if you're saying who you think of, then I would say Green Goblin. See, I think Kingpin. See, the only reason I say him is because he's two reasons. the worst thing to me. He really is Venom. Because that is that, that is that is the first thing that comes to my mind with Spider Man is Venom. It's him because Venom. The symbiote became, you know what I mean? It took that other side of him. Okay. And allowed it to come out. So I got a question. Thor. Same question. What does it happen? Yeah. What does it really happen? Memorable. When I say Thor, what's the first villain pop in your mind? Look. Honestly, Hulk. You know what? Good point. But Hulk's not a villain. That's just the that's just has always been his rival. To me, it's Loki, yeah. Loki, Loki, yeah. Loki. Who you think of Loki, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, truth be told, he, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> Kingpin Spider Man already told him. He it's hard. Like, I can't really call Spider-Man Loki a villain, Batman. huh? That nigga is Loki's a- an anti villain. No, he's an anti hero, anti. Yeah, well, I only he's okay, a, he only saved Loki. people to benefit him. Loki's probably kind of chaotic. Yeah, Loki's probably chaotic. Good if anything. He's a horrible person. I, mm, I'd put him at neutral at best. I wouldn't put him at good. <laughs> I put him chaotic neutral at best. Yeah. I'll put him oh, at selfish. There is chaotic. It is chaotic neutral. I'll put him as. Yeah, horrible. I'd put him there. Chaotic neutral. I can see that makes more sense. Iron okay. Man. Ooh. Okay. Villain. Thor? Don't, think know, like, Don't think MCU. Don't think MCU Iron because it's, yeah. it's gonna kill you. For who? Iron, Iron Man. Man. Iron Man. Never... Oh wait, that would be not MCU. It would be oh oh yeah, especially what they did with MCU. Ooh, never mind. Ooh boy, I can't. Yeah, I can't think of off the top of my head. I'm not mm-hmm. thinking about anybody. Mandarin. Yep, I, that was it. Uh, that's yeah. that's why I was, I was like, oh yeah, consider. That's why I said don't think MCU. If you think MCU, yeah, is that's, that's what he was like. Wait a minute, huh? Because it's normally, yeah, yeah. The whiplash. <laughs> Whip, no. Okay, I want to say Monica gets an A. Monica gets an E for that for, gets an A for that one. She tried for she tried. me. <laughs> Iron Man and Whiplash is like Spider Man and Shocker. He's not a villain. He's just annoying. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah you know that that is what that is. <laughs> that is exactly what that is. Yeah. I mean, Thor doesn't have a you know who, who, who is Hawkeye's villain? He got one. Hawkeye was just there as an Avenger. He was not yeah, really. I mean, Hawkeye. Hawkeye in the comics is only a bad guy. So, yeah, he ain't got one. What about that? Oh, you know, I've not. MCU did make him better. Yeah. yeah. I take my well, maybe Echo. It's about the only thing I can think of. Even that's a push. Mm. But okay, that's, a, yeah, last... that's a hard push. Okay, what about this Hulk? This is my last one. Y'all just about to say that's my last one, Hulk. Hulk, um, it would be. Who's Hulk? 
See, if you say abomination, I say the thinker. The thinker? No, that's a good point. Or Here, I give me a leader. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. I said thank I meant leader. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I picked the leader over abomination is because abomination is somebody who just wanted to be like the Hulk. But yeah, the leader is literally everything the Hulk is not. Like they're little exactly. opposites. Yeah. Maestro. Yeah. Mm, I can give I, I think I'm I'm leaning more toward leader on that one. Maestro yeah. is a is definitely up there though. He, but Maestro, I, just, I put him more toward the Loki area. Like he's just he wants like, what he wanted. The leader is literally, if you think about it, the leader is literally the yin and yang, the hope. Brain versus brawn. Yeah. Uh okay, I can see that. If you're thinking that aspect, I, I can see that. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm there's supposed to be a new World War Hulk coming out. I mean, uh, they introduced his son. Fucking she Yeah, they've already they've already introduced Scar. Uh, Scar. Who is the mama? Red herring. Oh, from World War Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> right, Star. right, right. Give me that. Gotcha. I got gotcha. <laughs> you. Yeah, ignorant. Ignorant. You have to be a certain. You have to be a certain age to get that one. <laughs> Ignant. That's why, I that's why I don't mess with y'all. This is why I don't take y'all nowhere in public. Yeah, I was gonna buy you a bottle of absinthe next time I saw you. Yeah, right. You weren't gonna drink it though. I wasn't gonna drink. It. I said buy you a bottle. Keyword. 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 Man, y'all on your own with that one. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> one thing I good. do agree. I do agree about the Marvel movies. They gave a lot of characters who people just kind of wrote off more depth. Like, mm -hmm. even to the, some of the shows, like, I didn't know nothing about Cloak and Dagger until I watched the show, and I actually liked the show. Yeah. That's a good premise when you do the research on that. That was a good... That just came out the wrong time, unfortunately, like comic book-wise. It worked It worked better in this era than it did back when it came out. DC Comics are written in depth. They They are. Sometimes just, to a fault, though. But it's the comic. That's the thing. Like, I don't think the comics are the issue. I think it's their them trying to bring that depth, that level of depth to the big screen. And truth be told, the movie going audience is probably not as intelligent as the comic book reader or even manga reader. I wouldn't throw manga in here in this argument. Because you have to simplify things. I know I know people hated Endgame, but at least they tried to simplify time travel. I give them that. Compare. So, you know, kind of so, I, feel, so I don't I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say not as intelligent. What I will say is I don't think they were reaching for the same audience. That I can see. They they were not reaching for them for the Anytime they make a movie off of something, I don't think they're reaching for the per the audience that already is reading the medium. Um, because you have you have you have multiple you have multiple audience types. You have those members who are just going to read it, right? Think Harry Potter. That you have the people who are just going to read the books and never watch the movie because they don't like the way it gets ad adapted. You have the people who only watch the movie, right, and never read the books. And so this is they know of the the lore, they know the the hype of it. They're only movie fans though of Harry Potter. Right? And then you have the people who watched the movie first and then read the book or vice versa. The ones who read the book first and then watched the movie. Oh, those are the worst people. Those are the worst. You people. see what I mean? And those so you've got there's two, there's like four different dynamics you have at play there and that's where all of the the conversations are coming Do in. not answer him. Do not answer him. Then you have him. Don't <laughs> answer <laughs> him. What are you? What are you? <laughs> He's the one who disappears. That's that's what. <laughs> what did you say? Don't answer him. Because I already know he was going with it. He doesn't. He doesn't like Harry Potter. He doesn't watch it. Never read it. None of that. Oh well, we weren't talking about you then. Duh. Yeah, we we was talking about the people who watched it. <laughs> oh you ain't gotta call it trash. Watch right? anything. Okay, so this is for Monty. I found this, and I wasn't aware, but Kobe was Slytherin. I didn't know that he was a huge he was a huge Harry Potter fan, 
but he was team Slither. I would not have expected that. Yeah, I would. And he's an Eagles he fan. Said, he's, he I said mean, his Harry Potter collection is one of his greatest collections. If he was going to be one, it, he would probably end up being a Slither. So. I would not expect that Kobe. I didn't think Kobe would read something like that, but again, that just shows how much I know about him. I was never the biggest yeah. Kobe person, so I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway. When it comes to Kobe, I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm, I've I've gotten I've gotten way too much trouble talking shit about Kobe, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I'll talk shit about no, Kobe. You good? You good? Nah. Um, but yeah, so th- those are the four types in general, like of people that you're that you're really gonna get when you start adapting from book from paper to uh to any type of film media. You know what I mean? Or media medium. You're gonna have mm-hmm. those those four different conversations there. Um. And so the commentary that you get from each one of those segments are different. You know, the people who only read the book, they're like, well, I, I, I don't like the way that they, the movie did it. It's not the same as the book. People who just watched the movie, like the movie's great. You know, I like the movie, this, that, and the other. I don't like this portion of the movie because of the movie itself. They are, they're able to see it as its own medium alone. And then you have those in, in those in-betweens. Me personally, Ooh. I watched it. I for the first time I watched it, I watched it for research purposes. I was never a Harry Potter person. I watched the, I watched it for research purposes for my own writings because I wanted to see what it what it looked like when someone took a magical, mystical fantasy world, right, and adapted it from a writing perspective. That was my whole reason for watching that and Lord of the Rings. I was never going to read a book that thick myself. It just it didn't pull me to read it. It, it never did. Um However, I did go back and reread the Harry Potter books, a couple of them. After watching some of the fight scenes that they had in the movie, and when I say they were completely different, the movie, the movie's adaptation of it was nowhere near what I would have expected after reading the act the same segment of the book. My own imagination would have went a whole different direction with how they set it up. But that's the thing with, that people got to understand is that, like Jay was saying earlier, me, these media mediums are someone's imagination. True. They can only be as wild as the imagination of the person making the movie. So until we get more people with varying imagination types making these movies, we're going to be stuck with the same outlines and framings that we've had up until now. And you know how Hollywood, yep. And then you know how Hollywood is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But also, just looking on the interweb, some breaking news: Ant Man top movie of the weekend, one hundred four million dollars first weekend. It's a Marvel movie. What you expect? Well, I mean, was there anything else that came out this weekend? Nope, I don't think so. It's timing. Yeah, I did a little better than I thought. I'm not gonna lie; it was gonna hit hundred million. So I'm kind of surprised. It made a little bit more than I thought it would. I thought it'd be like 98, 90, 99, honestly. So <laughs> glad to be proven wrong by a little bit. Slytherin's Slither the most picked house in Hogwarts Legacy. Hmm, interesting. Talk about the Merlin Claws, though. Yeah, I, I still have that yet. one out there. So we're talking about. Oh. I, have I have yet to play it myself. I have no attention. I'm going right into Octopath. Oh, when I get money, I will. I feel that. I feel that. Um, yeah, Octopath is another one that I'm I'm looking looking forward to doing as well. Um, let's do let's do a quick switch up. I want to make sure we hit on some of this lovely, lovely melanated excellence that we got going on here. Um, one recently, Missy, first female rapper nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Missy, that's e. that's surprising. That is really surprising. So I'm not gonna lie. Finally, she getting some of the respect that she deserves. She Yo, she is legendary. Missy, uh, look, when I saw her, I said, "Oh wow!" I <laughs> thought Sue and Pepper is the one we got in before Missy. I said, honestly. "I said, oh, that's Missy." Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Missy, Missy's Missy is that deal. Missy has been laying out as far as as far as dance goes. She has been putting oh, out a legend. Like she's a I legend. remember the first time people saw Crumpin, 
was in one of her videos and they had no clue what it was. Is it me or did Missy get younger? She's on a crazy regimen. Missy, Missy didn't always been fine. No, she's always been fine. I'm just saying though, she, she, you know, is your family different? Hey, so that that was the first one. Um, Megan Fifus Peace. Uh, she is the first black woman puppeteer on Sesame Street in its fifty year history. Wow! Mm. Oh, I remember when this happened. In the fifty year Sesame Street, there she is the first African American woman puppeteer. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So. Shout outs to her. Shout outs to the changes she's bringing to that industry there. Um, yeah, that was, I saw that. I was like, dang, it's been 50 years. They they just now? Make Ugh. you think. Make you think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Since definitely. we're talking about black excellence, can I add something I think that you put up there? You sure can. Um, This month, LeBron James is officially the, has the most points in NBA history. He passed. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I had I heard about that. And I forgot to put that up there. You are correct. Yes. I'll go. Yeah, it just went oh. to my feet. I was like, oh, let me mention this. Uh I did show this. I did have this up there from what you all had posted before. Oh the yeah, this is, a big, this is a good debate. Like, I'm like that's a matter of fact. Finally, since money want me to change my background, let me change my background just because you okay. reminded me. Well, so I'm not. A, I'm you, y'all know me. I'm not the sports person, so I'll let y'all handle this list and kind of that breakdown there for us. This is a ooh. This is this is a debate. Like I can see, I can see this going either way. I see like I can see seven easily. This could be seven. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, is that not the official it? list? Put it, put it That's up. the finalist. Put it That's the finalist. Yeah, these are the finalists. Yeah. Put it big. Let me see. Big okay, screen. There you, there you go. That's a stack oh, class. Man. That is a stack. Just because it's my favorite jersey. I can see. I can see six. I, I can Definitely see six. Paul. <laughs> Definitely Dirt, Tony, Popovich, Wade, Jennifer. Uh, I could see Blair. I see yeah, Wade, I Pop, can... Paul. Paul going to make us cry his speech, though. Me too, yeah. He's going to yeah, start talking about Kobe. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Popovich going to make us cry. He will probably retire. Oh, yeah, he... Becky deserves it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I'm sure she does. I don't know who Marion Washington is though. So I'd have to do some research because I don't know that person. Comment on that, but everybody else I do know, and yeah, I don't see nobody that don't deserve it. Yeah, I don't know what the percentages are for the Hall of Fame, but I could easily see Popovich, Wade. Oh, Pop, Dirk. Gosh, come on now, Pop, 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 yeah, Tony, first. And Wade, and Gasol. You gotta do Pop and Tony together. You gotta do them together yeah. with Wade. Oh, definitely. Like, I don't know if there's a limit to how many people can get into the Hall of Fame, but like I said, I can see seven easily. I can see six or seven easily. Yeah, without a doubt. Without so a let me help you out here. This is Marion Washington. Okay. Oh, she hosts Kansas. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. she's the female Kansas coach. Okay. Yep. I don't know, Monty. I think they're all mm. together. They might category, yeah, because they they have Bacon Hammond listed as player, not player coach. So that's interesting. That might be something to keep an eye out for. Because Popovich listed as coach. I don't know. It, yeah, because they separated by players. I can see Becky Hammond getting in next year if the player if there's a certain slot for you. Well, you know who, who's number one on my list to get in there? Yeah, he's at the bottom of the list. Oh yeah, don't want to say wait. I mean, yeah, he gotta go. What do you mean? Yeah, he's yeah, he's a first ballot. The what he's a first ballot. Hell, yeah. even that's like, it's a lot of people who are first ballots on this list, though. That's the thing. Like, you got to do Pop. You have to do Dirk. You have to do Wade. I do Tony Parker because it just makes sense having Pop and Tony going together. That just makes too much. That makes too much logical sense to me. <laughs> it's good to 
And I would probably say I'd probably say Gasol for next year. Actually, I would actually say Gasol for next year. But like you said, okay, we're gonna probably talk about Kobe. So I can probably see him being a, a second ballot, a second time Hall of Fame, and not the first ballot. Okay. Oh, so they all going in then. Oh, okay. So if they're separate, this is a whole different story then. Oh, then they all going, yeah. 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 If it's men, women, and coach, oh, this is a whole different yeah, then they all going. Oh, it's two coaches oh. though. Two co- okay, one coach. Coach is gonna be pop. That's too obvious. Three to four men. That would be Wade. Nah, coach gotta be pop. Uh the main I, I like this. If it's only four men, then obviously Wade Dirt. Well, yeah, hey, Pop still coaching? Yeah, but he's close to retirement, though. He's oh. close to retiring. At least the room was going around. She says she's only three to four men. Two Man, women I'm tired she came in the lead. What you talking about? Okay, so if it's one, if it's two women, Becky Hammond probably gonna get the woman player nod. Obviously, she's gonna probably get the woman nod. Okay. And maybe one of the Pop probably one of the most respected coaches in the league, though. You gotta be. You know what? No, if you do pop, then you have to have, yeah. No, now that I think about this, I'm just thinking about this from a thematics because Becky Hammond is technically on his coaching tree too. So you know what? You got to do Hammond, Pop, Tony Parker. We got to do all three of them together. They all got to go on together. I'm sorry about that. I got to pick the three. Those three. So those three are in for me. I really want to say. I, I really Becky gonna because, be by herself though, cause she the women don't go with the men and the coaches. So all three of them probably going for sure. If it's yeah. four men, then they Tony, Dirk, Wade, and and Gasol is gonna go. That would make sense. Yeah, if it, if it's a if it's the numbers, Monty saying that I think we're all in agreement. I think who 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 um who everybody would be there at this point. Yeah, so. I think we're all in agreement. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, let's switch it around. Go to the next one. Now, this one I thought was interesting. Uh, this guy, right here. Who is that? Uh. I believe it's Afrini. I've got to re re put it in so I figure out how to say his name. Anthony, like Anthony Hardaway or no 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 no, no. A N F E R N E E and Ferny and not Anthony and Ferny Robinson, he's the founder of Anime Bay Studios. Oh, like Inferno. Um, okay, like Inferno. Yeah, okay, Inferno. Yeah. Um, he is the first mangaka in the Forbes 30 under 30. He the first one? Mm. Oh, that's an whoa, that's an interesting statistic. That's and this is his this is his story. He's, uh Akai is the guy over there, and then Double Dutch uh is the ladies playing double dutch. Those are his manga. Um so oh, that's- Oh, I think it's I remember the, hearing about the Double Dutch manga. I think I remember hearing yeah. about this. Uh, so that is the first female sports manga ever, and it's black. For well, yeah. black first black sports female manga uh, that's run out, and that was his. So, uh, but yeah, he's the first first uh, mangaka in Forbes thirty under thirty. Nice. That's impressive. That's impressive. Right. Thank you so. Double Dutch and Akai, aka I. If you get a chance, check them out. Um, oh, but yeah, Anthony, that is our guy. That is our mm-hmm. guy there. He is our guy. Tip to the cap. Tip to the cap. So that takes care of that. That's what we had uh, for that. I do want to throw this up. Uh, oh, one other one, real quick. Booker T announcing his retirement. He's retired. He's retiring. Let me get this out of here. There we go. Hall of Fame, though. Five time, five time, right. five time. Even though he technically the sixth time, but five time. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought that was that was what's up. He he, he been in it, in it and had it for whew, month of Sundays. Time. 
Round month, month, a couple months of Sundays. <laughs> FYI, Booker T was last in the ring at the Royal Rumble this year. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what that's the sport of this announcement. He was in there for I think a minute, not even. I don't think he was in the whole minute. He got put out by Gunther. Okay. Uh, Jay, how about Tyler Hero? Wait, what happened to Tyler Hero? I love Tyler Hero. Shit, Wait, well, oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That last game. Yeah. Oh. And he's still young. He got. I ain't no, worried he, about he it. He definitely got time. He ain't, if you ask me, he ain't hit the phone yet. All right, oh. I'm about to. I'm about to throw something out here. I'm about to make. I'm about to make some people mad. But I gotta oh, wait, Panda. all this. Wait, Panda. This is not wait, Panda. I got one more. Wait, okay. one more, Panda. Shout out Brittany Garima. She's signing with the Phoenix Mercury. So she'll be playing the WNBA this season. So just throw that one out. One year contract. Yes. Okay, let's go. She's back in it. Yes. Brittany Grimes. Low key, Brittany WNBA Grimes. is going to be in. Oh, low key, WNBA is going to be nasty this summer. Y'all better keep an eye on that. Low key. I, I figured they was going to sign. Yeah, Hold just on. low key. There was one other one I was supposed to. I had earlier and I didn't move it around because I needed to move it. I miss Candace. CT is, is my girl, yo. She's playing. She's playing for Vegas now. She's she with the Vegas um WNBA team. I love CT. Yo. She's in Vegas, Monty. So she'll be playing in Vegas this summer. Okay. Yeah, why did she Where'd leave? I, I think she left for money. It's not thinking what. Yeah, Vegas is supposed to be nasty, and the Liberty is supposed to be nasty too. Liberty is supposed to be nasty this year too, from what I've heard. So, that, like I said, WNBA, yeah, I'm gonna definitely try to keep an eye on it this summer because I wish Milwaukee, I wish Milwaukee had a WNBA team, but oh well. Right. Oh, you saying you want to see Candace live? That. All right. Enough reason to go to Vegas. You okay? So, John Wick Four on its way out. Ooh. Quick wrap up on a few things, just so y'all are aware. It's supposed to be three hours long. He said Seriously? it was the most physically taxing movie he's been in. That should be saying something because I don't know if y'all saw the work he put in for John Wick 3. Yeah. But but, yeah. So I'm interested on that one. Uh I they I saw this before and I agree with it. Yo, it David, yo Laura, I would be down. I'd be down with this. I'd be down with this. <laughs> I would love saying, to see yo. that. You know what? I'm just saying. I hundred. Wish someone else fifteen in all games. Oh, President Pass. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, also, we're talking Spider Man. This is coming up here. Spider Man Noir. Um, That's lit. Personally, who did I say I wanted to see in this again? Nicholas Cage. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Nicholas Cage. So, so, so with that, with Spider Man Noir, quick question. Quick, quick question. Okay. Um, is it what? Oh, that's right. This is live action, not animated. Yeah, it's live oh, action. Real? Damn, that's right. This is live action. Not... So, if it was animated, I would definitely go Nicolas Cage. This was live action. Even, this was even, even so, if it's animated or not, are they going to have the storyline from the Spider Verse or is it going to connect MCU? No, the, the, the individual the that, standalone. It's, own, it's a standalone universe. Yeah, standalone. I understand that, but hear me out. Hear it's me out. in the Sherlock Holmes universe, nigga. If <laughs> if they intertwine that or into the Spider Verse, yo, it'll be so easy to get Miles Morales in the MCU. So we don't leave that alone. We only that one alone for another day. That would forever. require them. I mean, they Just, are talking about bringing the other Spider-Man back. Toby and Garfield. Andrew. If they did that, they'd have to do a Spider... 
girl version. I'm not opposed to it. You would have that before you got Miles. I'll just put it that way. True. Yeah. You would see that before you saw Miles, unfortunately. Yeah, that yeah. This is just his own separate universe, and I'm kind of fine with that. Spider Man. Now I, w- I will hope that they do Sin City style. That's what I'm hoping. Mmm. Mmm. That'd be immaculate. Okay. That was a good idea. That. If they did yeah. that Sin City style, that would be on point. I don't think they're gonna do it. Or even That'd be on point. Or- or even if they took the tone, maybe I know we just mentioned this earlier. Dark Knight, probably. Ooh, that, would, that might work actually. Uh, I, I, I say, I they'd I have would. to back it up. No, it has to be like Peaky Blinders. Like it has to be back there. I, I would like okay. to see like Goodfellas, Peaky <laughs> Blinders. Yeah. Just don't yeah, overdo the on head narrations. Right. No, no, no that's going to be like, definitely gotta, that's that's what he does. That's what he no, does is those head narrations. That's Spider Man. Spider Man always. I, I, I love it, <laughs> but I feel like they will do it to the point where they overdo it. They'll kill it. Yeah, yeah. That is gonna. I think that's gonna be their their thin line. I think. <laughs> Andrew Spider Man should have been Miles. Uh, that's a. You know, know what? That's a. That's a hot. That's an interesting. <laughs> Cause remember, Andrew's movies were supposed to be Spider-Man four and five, so I mean, Miles might, might have a point there. Yeah, but Miles didn't have. Time. Now what? Okay, now I will say this: I think Andrew should, in the future, it's this is not how it's gonna go. If y'all remember the cartoons, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and the different iterations, you had uh, Unlimited Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Where he finally oh. got the mechanical suit. Yep. Mm-hmm. That technically is the Tom Holland version. Uh Toby would be the original Spider-Man, like Spider Friends Spider-Man. Right. That would like be it. that. Garfield, though, I don't know which version he would end up being. Would it be 94 He's Spider-Man? Spectacular. spectacular is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, spectacular. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, they came out around the same. That makes sense. They both came out around the same time. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I think that's kind of so, how that popular, unpopular opinion that I'm making up right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I want. I want a Scarlet Spider. Not happening. That's too complicated. I know it's not happening. That's I'm not mad at it. That's why it's unpopular. But I know it's popular because motherfuckers who really read Spider-Man comics. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That would be what's up. Right. Now, I can see, yo, I can see Garfield. Oh, I even off, take a, a Cyber Spider 2099. MCU is no, not touching the clone saga. Nope. We know they not. I'm saying. Yeah. Sony might be dumb enough to try it. No, I can see, no. No, I can see Garfield pulling off Scarlet. I want the Scarlet. Monty said it was supposed that was Gambino was gonna play Miles. Yeah, I remember th- I remember the talk of that. Yeah, I, I never know. thought it was actually gonna happen. Yeah, he's it. too old. He's Donald too Glover old. back well back then he wasn't though. Yeah, he's okay. you know I mean? Yeah, back then he wasn't when they first started talking about it. Cause that was back when he was doing stand up still. Yeah, when he was like twenties, can, yeah. can we agree and it's just multi talented? It's nothing that you really can't do. Yeah, we. Oh, I concur. Yeah, no argument there. No argument there. I would love to see if he still got the stand-up chops, though. Does he? It's been a while. So I would, it's been a while, right? That's what I said. I'd love to see if he what he would put out now, knowing what he knows now, and like the experiences he's had since then. I wonder how that stand-up would turn out. It yeah. probably end up being good though, because real comics talk about. That's shit. what I'm saying about what he what he's yeah. been through, right? Right, so if you know, that is definitely something that's we're missing the comments. Oh, he come out, he got oh oh my god, the four break. Yep, (laughs) the way he stopped this conversation mid conversation. (laughs) Wait, let me explain something to you. I was, as a child, I was terrified of pitch black. Uh huh, but I was reading movies. 
I'm I'm with I'm, you. I'm 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 pulling an OB though. I'm turning my back to this one. Wow, why? Turn it back? I've never seen it. I never I never saw a point of the race movies. I'm just gonna be honest. You, you never, never seen saw any point 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 movies? Nope. What about Pitch Black? That's technically not a Riddick movie. He was just in. Now I've seen nothing with Riddick in it. I was in it. Wow. Is there a particular reason why? Do you like just you not like, like these? Little- I <laughs> just <laughs> never saw them. I never saw them. Oh. Well, when you get a chance, check them out. They're, they they still hold the held up decently over time. We, we, we found out. We know. Yeah. No, I, I like, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that franchise. I'm not gonna lie. I say at least give it a shot. If you if you have no real reason for it, I say give it a shot. That's and all there's, a, there's a fast. And it doesn't have to be in order. It makes sense if you do it in order, but it doesn't have to be in order. Uh, why? Why? Is it, is it Pitch Black like the end? No, is it Pitch Black like the end of the critic? They're making a fast ten. No, that's different. It. That's, that's a whole different story. That's a whole that's different, a whole different, different conversation. Yeah, that's why I that's said that's curious. Is a whole different conversation. <laughs> that's what I said. That's, that's a. That's like it's it's it. Fast and Fear is pretty much live action anime at this point. Let's they just still it do. Yeah, that's that's what every season is a new new season coming out. <laughs> you you know who's the villain this time? Who? A- Aquaman. Oh, oh Momoa's the villain. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, nah. I mean, this is on Heimdall last time. I mean, so yeah. I I have not. I think I don't think I've watched anything consistently with that. I think I saw the one with Jason Statham because it was Jason Statham. I watched that one. I mean, how could you not love Jason? Statham? <laughs> like that's my boy. Yeah. But I don't think I've watched anything in between there for like three movies, three or four movies, and I haven't seen anything since then. <laughs> so <laughs> the last that's the time I'm Will J did the... with Michael B. How to with the oh I am Legend. Yeah, I did hear about that. I have not any. I don't have anything new about it, but I did hear about it. Is a I am um, Legend coming now? I am Legend too. Yeah, because Michael B. Jordan's supposed to be in it. What? Yeah. Huh? Anything possible? Uh, also, I'm waiting for this. People? Grinch Two is supposed to be coming. I don't understand how no, that. Possible. Nope. He hasn't finished Sonic first before he even touched that. Nope. He there. It's already. They're already. They're already working on it. I thought he said he's retiring after the last Sonic. Yeah, but it was the Grinch. I mean, like it's the Grinch. He he did say that the Grinch he'll come back for, and he was finishing Sonic. Okay. So he hasn't done anything like, outside of that yet. That's what he said. Sonic gonna be the last. One. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. That's what I, that's but he, what I heard he had too. already said before that he was like the Grinch. If something happens, he would come back to play the Grinch. That was like his one of his favorite okay. ones ever. Nah, yeah, he so, definitely like he makes it apparent that like he owned he owned that role. I'm not gonna even lie. He owned oh, that owns role it completely. Yeah, the only other he, movie I would love to see him come back in is The Mask. That would yeah, never happen. It, was one of his it wouldn't, but think about it. Like, you gotta admit, an older version of the mask with him now would probably be insane. I will watch it because I love it. And they could put it in the MCU. <laughs> right. Hey, oh Lord, no, we're not doing mask versus Deadpool. Nope, nope. I'm gonna stop it. Right oh, there. you nope. gotta. Yo, that would be somebody needs to tweet that to I will uh, Ryan tweet Reynolds. It. immediately. I don't even be on my Twitter, but I'll tweet it. I'll you said that I'll tweet. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. We need to get that to Ryan Reynolds immediately. Immediately. Yeah, no, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Right, okay. The mask entering Jim Carrey's mask entering the MCU because it's gotta be his mask. Yeah. Like it can't just be uh the mask. Uh, because the you know what mask I mean? is made by King Loki's in the MCU. Right. Oh god damn it, you're right. Oh god. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I, the, I that's the problem. I, no, that's a Disney Plus series. Screw that. No, that's a Disney Plus series. We need no ratings on this. There has to be a show. If we're not no rating most seasons, make it a movie. Look. No, you do it as a six episode miniseries. That's it. Six episodes. I can see them as shorts. I can see them as shorts. Like a six episode, you know what I mean? But like two shorts, two 15 minute Deadpool, the mask, match, mash up shorts per episode. Oh Lord, Brian like them going to the store crazy. or them going to a convention or them going somewhere random. And they gotta have you know what a I mean? month with um 
like at the end, what what did was take the mask and put it on, but we don't see him. That'll be the end of it. Yeah. 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 Then now that's a book. You know what? Now I'm thinking of a crazy versus match. Deadpool with the Max versus Kirby with Majin Buu's power. Who would win? But that might be another story for another day. Pin that one and we'll come back to it. That's craziness. That's insanity. I don't, yeah, no, no, we're not doing that. No, no, no. no that's my no, bill. You're not doing that to me. You are not doing that to me today. Not tonight. No, no. no man, we're wearing freaking into this. It's in the chat. Well, we talked about this very briefly before. Toy no, Story 5, no, Frozen 3, no. and Zootopia 2 are in development. Zootopia 2, I'm for. Toy Story, they need to stop. Frozen 3, I'm over it after Frozen 1. Zootopia 2, I'm interested in seeing only because like, I saw the mini episode that they did with Zootopia where they filled in all the gaps in the show, in the movie. like They did little skits. Of like the wedding for the Vols, where the 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 gangster Vol dad was like ice him. You know what I mean? Like they showed mm-hmm. his upbringing, his upbringing and stuff like that. It was hilarious. So I liked those. It filled in all the different spots in the movie, and so I feel like they could easily do another second Zootopia movie without it being an issue. Especially with with Flash, the sloth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, they could easily do something like that. Yeah, I think it's totally be the only one I would look forward to. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they're still doing Toy Story, but that's I was just, just... Gonna say, Toy Story Five. Like, come on! I, right, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't even watch Toy Story Four out of principle because Toy Story Three was the perfect ending. So it was. Don't let it well, the only reason yeah, I want to see Toy Story Four is because I want to see Bo Peep. <laughs> no, I can, I can res- okay. I can I can respect huh? that. Jay, she don't want to. Oh, <laughs> said she don't want you. No, it's just because I we ne- they never told us what happened to her. So uh, yeah, yeah. she just kind of dipped off. Yeah, she got me disappeared. You know what happened though, right? Her and Woody got a divorce. Nah, the actress. <laughs> no, the actress. No, I think it was the voice actors they want to come back for the sequel. I think that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't know she was married to Tim All right. I don't know what. Uh, I told you so, that's, that's a bad idea. Only other thing. Oh, I put no, the, I I took a screenshot and put it in the chat, bro. I did it. I saw. I saw. <laughs> What's this one? Well, this I will put this one up here. So this one here, I've got to I got to put up. Um, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. The first voice actor to do both the Japanese and English dubs in hey. a row uh, was Miyuki here. So Ashiro Miyuki, um, she's the first one to voice both versions of her role. Hey, do that shit. Uh, like yes, ever, oh, wait, we gotta you know, tag um, um, Ryan Reynolds, bro. Oh, we'll use the hashtags. We'll use hashtag Deadpool hashtag. Hashtag Deadpool hashtag. Yeah. And then this is the second person to do it as well. Um, hold up, I forget her name. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me pull it back up here in my notes. No, Pokemon went count. I would say the person who voices Pikachu technically did it, but I guess I was just dubbing over, so I guess that wouldn't count. What do you mean? Um, With the Pokemon anime, they've only had one voice actor for Pikachu, then the Japanese um, VA2. But I guess it wouldn't count because I mean, yeah. technically, it's just, yeah, it wouldn't count. It's just Pika. It's just a, yeah, it's just an animal sound. It's not actual words. It's just still, it's, it's English and Japanese. It's- <laughs> nah, but I see what they're going out. for for the. I just thought about it. I'm just like, let's just look at this. What did you choose? Uh, Sally Amaki is the other lady. Uh, she's the second to pull it off. And uh, that's in, I believe, it's Tomo, the new, uh, the new show, Tomo, uh, Tomo Shan's a boy. Honestly, considering the digital age we're in there, I'm surprised that hasn't happened more often. Though. 
Technically, so of- here's the issue. Here's something that came up, right? There is a new thing where uh, they're trying to, companies are trying to get voice actors to sell their voices to these AI machines to where they don't have to pay them anymore. Oh, hell And so God. there's a huge thing with that right now um, that's going on Never. because they're trying to eventually basically recreate voices without voice actors. Right. Um, right. That's not stuff. That's not stuff. So that's something that's that's in there right now. That's an issue um, that we've been that we've been dealing with recently. That just came up. Um, I saw uh, as well. Um, Celia Cruz, first Afro Latina on the U.S. quarter. I had a picture up here earlier, and I don't know where it went. Like I moved it, and now it's gone. Like yeah, look at you you know. shit and this it was right there. Was it right there? But shout out to her on that one. That is a huge, huge deal. Um, but yeah, it was the picture that I pulled up earlier. I was like, oh, we'll touch on this later. And, nah, I don't remember the picture. Yeah, it disappeared on me. <laughs> like I know I had it, and now it's it gone. Don't matter because you lost it. I clearly, clearly, it is my fault. I lost it. I'm sorry, Celia. I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. He it. He failed the city. Hey, he, I failed. He doesn't like yeah. Afro Latinos. Uh, wow. First and foremost, I need you to pause on that slander. How dare you? <laughs> you lost her. I'm all for that. I'm all for her. that. You lost. It was an her. accident. I lost Play the picture, myself. though. Anyway, but yes. Um, she is going to be on a U.S. quarter, which is flipping awesome. Very cool. Flipping awesome. Um, and then I have one last thing. You all know Elden Ring, right? I heard of it, yeah. There is a manga now. It's a gag manga of Elden Ring. Official. Um, yeah. Basically, it's one of, the, one of the tarnished, one of the people, that the main characters that you're playing the game. They're walking around trying to make it through Elden Ring. And if you think about all the jokes that people have about Elden Ring being hard and stuff like that, uh think about it's a it's a gag manga. It's basically Kanasuba in Elden Ring. Uh, think of it that way. I, I just think that shit is hilarious. I have a feeling it's going to be hilarious. I I got the link. Um let me see if I can drop it for y'all here. I'm gonna put it in the chat for everybody. Elden Ring Kanasuba. I literally you said that and I saw it in my head. You saw it in your head, right? <laughs> that, hell no. Hell there no. you go. So that, that is where I found it. I was able to find it there. Um delete the you know what? Hold up. I have my my things on front of it, so I apologize. letter that i had for separation there we go try it again all right uh that's the link for it if you guys feel free to check it out i might do a um if i have time amongst all the other 50 million things that i'm doing trying to get this channel together and everything i may try to voice it um just for the fun of it (laughs) and put it out there for y'all uh so we'll do that also side note rod i was rereading sakamoto days like that first couple chapters yeah. Do y'all want to do like take manga and do like readings of them? Like everybody pick a character and we just I'm record the manga. So like live manga? Either live or yeah, we could do it live. We could do or we could like record them and do it later. Either way. I'm worried. I could do it. Mm-hmm. You know I can give, like, we'll give it a try. Okay. I can you pick a series. Manga we doing it for? Yeah, and we'll just put the manga on screen, and then like you pick your character, and then as that character goes, like you do the reading for that character. Okay. I could give it a try. <laughs> okay, we may do that one time when we have like a random a random day or something. Um, I think that'll be. I think it'd be cool. You know what I mean? So. It could be fun. It could be fun. Yeah, Sakamoto. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah like I said, if you're not picked up on Sakamoto days, y'all missing out some fun. Y'all missing out. Oh some yeah. Fun. There you Sakamoto go. Sakamoto days is that truth. Yeah, Sakamoto days you, is that truth. Um. There you go. 
let me see if there's anything else that I want to make sure we touch on today. I think we touch. Oh, you know, I just I just remember the news feed just going through. Oh, go ahead. Okay, this media they're releasing major anime series for free on YouTube. Yes, yes, they are. They are. Um, some good. They pick some. Yeah, I, I got it right in front of me. I can read off the show. They're doing. Go ahead. Shows. Yeah, read off the shows if you don't mind. Okay, they got Death Note, Hudson Hota, seasons one through three, the mm-hmm. complete series of Inuyasha, and the movies. All of part one of Naruto and all of Sailor Moon and something else called Mr. Osamata. I don't know what that is, but okay. All those are free on their YouTube channel. On Crunchy Rolls? No, on Viz Media's YouTube channel. Viz Media's okay. So just so you all are aware now, you do have the option of going to check out some top tier anime. Uh yeah. Top tier. On their part one Naruto, yeah. Sailor Moon and part one Naruto, yes. Naruto is top ten. Naruto, no. All that's right, like a, that's that's a series I could definitely use a rewrite, but that's another story for another day. Yeah. All right, there was two, three third things. One, Favro, our MCU oh, man. Barbara. Favreau, thank you. I never know how to say his nice name. He finally got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so congratulations to him on that. He oh, yeah. deserves that one. Oh yeah, definitely. Also, shout that. out. Also, shout out to Ice T. He also got his um, Walk of Fame honor too. I didn't know that one, but yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it just Ice happened last week. Well. Yeah, that's perfect. So keep that up. Um, Galactus. It's supposed to be. Remember, we were talking about this. We talked about this like Last two or three months ago, yeah. where we said Galactus was going to end up being the person that came back to fight with Doom and Kang in yeah. seven, six, seven, and eight. Remember us talking about that? Yeah, yeah we kind of called this. And we this called. We kinda... it. So yeah. nothing official yet, but this seems to be the rumor that's going around as of right now. Thematically, would make sense, and then you just read. So... And then everybody who wanted a new Black Panther, bam, that's how you get your new Black Panther. Dun, right. Dun, 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 dun. So that'll be interesting to do. Uh, E3 this year, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo bagged out. Yeah. So I don't know who's going to be in it at this point. <laughs> it's probably going to be some indie developers for the most part. Um, still definitely keep an eye out on them. Um, I gotta see when the the G Dev one is the uh the minority gaming development uh version is coming out. I'll let y'all know about that when we get but, it. We'll get those updates as well. You know but, who's gonna be there? Who Since PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo ain't there. Who Sega, Sega. Se- did you say how Sega? Did I know, how did I know yeah. Sega? I was because I was where, where's the, my button at? Dude, get out of here. <laughs> Take, take him off for a minute. Take him off. You're on punishment, sir. You I was thinking. Was thinking. Oh, I, uh, I was thinking. Yeah, I was going to say Nokia. Nokia. Scar's getting his own show. Why? Wow. That's going to be wow. interesting. I want to see how Why he became not? Scar. I'm not going to lie. Like him and Mufasa growing I up. Can take score. How? He got in a fight with Mufasa. Mufasa beat his ass. <laughs> you know what? And then last, but definitely not least. Well, not last. Second to last. We got a new juggernaut, y'all. What the hell? Ghost, Ghost right, Rider juggernaut. juggernaut. Oh, yeah. I saw that, actually. I did. I saw that. No, no, that is so. Quote Chucky is Fisher. it stronger than nope. than Cosmic Gutter though? So, quote Chucky Fisher, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it's stronger than Cosmic that's Ghost Rider, but it definitely is the strongest juggernaut you'll ever see. I mean, I mean yeah. awake juggernaut's the strongest juggernaut. So, so about two people that should not be fusing. That's definitely two people yeah. who should not be fusing. What they do. And they purple, so they win. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and say so who approved this? Who okay. 
<laughs> it's it's it. It. They showed me and said, hey, look, man, we're going to make them purple. I said, oh, do it then. <laughs> he said, that, well, that's that's, that's, that, that, that is hilarious. <laughs> I said, don't um, put them two together. They said they're going to be purple. I said, oh, I mean, why you ain't put them two together already? That's how it went. Wow. It, it didn't take long. I thought Cosmo goes where it was a crazy idea. This is even crazier. Yeah, no, nah, this is, bro. When you, yeah, read into it, yeah, he he goes in. He's stupid. Know. He All you stupid. gotta do to win me over is make shit purple, and I'll be like, oh, okay. I mean, I know they made an incredible walk to a spaceship, but that's just, but this is just a whole nother level. I completely hate that. I gotta, I gotta say this. Jamie Lee Curtis as Karai, I would watch it. Yes. Not oh, gonna yeah, watch she wants. She's a huge One Piece fan, and she was like, "Yo, I'd love to play she, this character." I was like, "I am yeah, down for it." I'm for it completely. I'm completely it for it. It could work. It, 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 it could work. One Piece and Apple, Jamie Lee Curtis. So put them together. Oh uh, yeah, you know yeah. Know? If I can get just, look, just if we tell can get her leave her brother out of it. Into One Piece, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. You hear me, pal? Oh, yeah, I've been speaking to one. Huh? Leave her brother out of it. Just leave her brother <laughs> yeah. out of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know if y'all heard about for the this. very last thing that I had. Okay. I saw this. Oh, damn. I, I don't remember when you posted this. Oh, hell no. And I want to know, like, this is not our this is not our chart. This is this is uh another group on Facebook that I found, but I gotta get them credit because these these lineups are insane. They had a Akat- oh, Akat- Akat- and Dazai. That left character right there, Bradley. King Bradley from Full Metal Alchemist. That's right. I said right. Oh. I actually, but pay to watch these two in a sword fight. This would be a good oh, fight. Definitely. The fear of Bradley. Jumbo said. <laughs> Monty <It's> said Bradley. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm lightweight agreeing. I don't. I don't know though. I don't no, know. I, no, because he can regenerate. Zoro can't. He. This is true. This now is you're true. Really okay. he is Generator can cut him though, right? That's the question. Okay. Like, if he dismembers him in multiple pieces, which we've seen Zoro, Shasimi, Shasimi, what they call it, but we've seen Mechalas come back from that. Shashimi, Shashimi, there we go. Yeah, that fillet, <laughs> he fillets him, put him in enough pieces. I think, I think Bradley outlasts Zoro. I think he does. It's, it's not. Gonna be a close fight, but I think Bradley just out so Bradley out. with with high difficulty. <laughs> yeah, it's a high difficulty fight. Just I think the, Bradley. So the, the chat is is unanimous on Bradley. <laughs> it seems no, it's not. The chat I is unanimous on Bradley. Bradley. I'm sorry. No, y'all must try hate on Bradley. Zoro. I mean, Zoro's a badass. Don't get me wrong, but not give him to Bradley. Problems? No. Hold on, wait, wait, zoom, zoom, zoom that chart back up. Uh huh. Exactly. Let me see. Let me see. She's biased. Here, let me make it bigger. What kind of this is a if I can? Oh, no, those are we lost it again. Okay. I just want to see what they had on here. Okay, Lexi. So Dante. let's look at the actual. Let's look at the actual break that they had here. They had Itachi versus Dazai. They had Garu versus Gojo, and they had Gojo winning. I could see that. They yeah, had Mikey versus yeah, Killua. Killua solos. Vegeta. They had Vegeta, Vegeta versus I don't know who that is, but it was probably Vegeta. <laughs> Laxus versus Zoraki Kimpachi. Ooh. <laughs> They got Zaraki winning versus Laxus. That must have been a close vote. That must have been a close vote, probably. It gotta be close. Because it's not I team. think Zaraki would have won it though. I have to give him, I think I have to agree with what they got here. Yeah, I, I, hey, I, that, I, that's I, what I was looking for. I'm like this. I was like, this um if I didn't see you on uh, him on there, I like this chart is on the valley because he's not on there. Who? Laxus. Zaraki. Oh, Zaraki, yeah, yeah. They had Alucard versus Dante, and they had Alucard coming out on top. I, see that too. I think that'd have been a tie, a close fight, but I can't I can't be mad either. Either one I couldn't be mad at the answer for. Coin flip, coin flip, pretty much. Coin flip, yeah, that's basically a coin flip. Like Dante and Alucard, they're both demons like none other. 
So Escanor versus somebody that had Escanor winning. I don't know who the person is. Tanjiro it looks like. Who? Ujiro versus Kentaro looks like. Yeah, Ujiro winning is Ujiro, of course. Madara Madara versus Sinbad. They had Madara winning versus Sinbad. Oh, look at the cat, most badass cat. Okay, this is going badassery. I can see how this chart is going. Badassery, okay. Shanks versus Gildar. Now they were fighting. I don't know about that model versus Sinbad though. No, Sinbad's taking it, taking that off top. If they're fighting, well, we're going badass. I think Madara will probably in terms of badassery. I think Madara wins. Is My body has nothing what, to do with it. I can be objective, unlike badass? you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Zora versus Bradley. That's what they're on here now. They've got Anos Voldigo versus Rimru. Rim, okay, as, as far as badass, Ooh, as Adam, about about wait, they got that's Yusuke cool. versus Levi in a badass. Ooh, that's a ooh, damn. That's, is, is that versus really Levi, badass? yeah. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. It's both badass Spike badass. versus Kogami. It's spell badass, but ooh. I mean, hey. Jotaro versus Yami and Jiren versus Guts. Okay, so for, okay, let's do this one. Let's let's finish out this chart here. Anos Voldegold versus Rimuru. As far as a fight goes, Rimuru. I want to say Rimuru, but Anos is Anos is literally Anos is a fucking demon king. That's yeah. Hey, like, like Rimuru's getting that. to that point, but he ain't there yet. If you know yeah. what I mean. Actually, he became one before. Like right at the end, right? So he's just coming into his power, though. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Like, he's he just, don't know remember his doing. demon. Ow. Remember his demon servant still got more power than him. Yeah. Right. At least it's shown more power than him. We don't know if he got more he's power not, than him. Yet. I, I Have y'all been watching the second season? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't uh, seen yeah, the I'm up to date yet. on that one. I'm I'm behind because I, I I'm I'm not gonna lie. Do not kill. Actually, I'm not even gonna say it because. I can't say it on this podcast that is about anything. No, nah, I'm up to date on Anos. And yeah, that one I'm is behind. That's all I'm going to say. Gonna say yeah, it. he's. I think he's winning that one. Spike versus Kogami. Kogami. Who? Uh, Who versus Kogami? Spike. Yeah, I got Spike. Who is Kogami? Kogome? No. No. Uh, no that's not Kogome. No. I don't think she would be in a badass tournament, but that's just me. <laughs> Nowhere near. Not even. Hey, she told you y'all should just see. Uh, psychopaths. No. Oh. I told you. Some psychopaths. As well. Yusuke versus Levi, then that one's more intriguing than this one. Zora was a brat. I ain't fixing my car. Now, we if we're talking about fighting, y'all know how I feel about my Yu Yu Hockey show. But Levi, motherfucker. Is a, is a badass character? No, that's Levi. I had I had to, I gotta say it. Hey, wait, I can hold, see, hold, hold, hold. this is a good argument. Why? This is a good why? argument. Why? 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 Levi yes. has no good guys persona. He has no okay. I'm gonna protect people por- portion. Yeah, of him. I was gonna say that's Yusuke, Levi, okay. Yusuke has it in there. Yeah, he's no. he's a badass. Yes, not, not stopping that. Badass, but as far as like just being an all all around just a screw everybody. The, yes, it, Levi. The list is a badass. Yeah, this yeah this yeah. So Levi's had way more what, badass. Jumbo said they need boot on the list. It. From from what show? Record Re- of Ragnarok. Oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that season yet. The second. Season oh my yet. god, bro! Is boot that? Up. Is he is he, is he that bad? I, I, I'm, all I'm, I'm gonna say to not spoil it, he's not on the god side. Oh, I'm sure he's not. I'm sure he's not. He was that's human. A spoiler. No, it's not. Buddha was human. That, that's not a spoiler. It just is what it is. I mean, yeah. I mean, I like Yusuke too, but Levi's had way more badass moments than Yusuke. Yeah, Yusuke had to be pushing some of his badass moments. Let's yeah, just keep Spike it and Kogami is definitely Kogami. I have to take that back because they talking about the Kogami from Psycho Pass. Yeah, it's Kogami, hands down. Yeah, oh, that's what uh, you talking about, Psycho Pass? Yeah, yeah. If they're talking about Kogami from Psycho Pass, then no, nah, it's it's him. He's he's more badass than Spike. I'm sorry. Spike. Yeah. yeah. Jotaro versus Yami. 
I don't know much about Joe. I'm thinking. <laughs> Nah, Yami I mean, really Yami isn't. Yami. He don't do nothing though. Yami, bro. Wait, is that Yami from the ambulance or first? Or oh, he pulled one of those. This nigga Yami don't be giving a shit, bro, and he be slicing. Yami, wait, what your? He really don't. Wait, what Yami are y'all talking about? I'm thinking Yami, Yami but I might be wrong. No, Yami is a uh, black clover. Oh, see, I didn't get that for him. Oh, Yami, with Yami. yeah, black Yami. clover, Yami. Yami, Yami. Yami. The man slices dimensions and just be taking shit, bro. That's all he do. Oh, okay. I'm thinking Yami. And what do he do? He cuts people out, drink, mm-hmm. eat, fucking take shit, bro. That's it. Yeah, okay, yeah. I thought we were talking about Pharaoh and Tim. So he my bad. Out of nowhere, no, 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 no. And then Jared, Jared versus but, versus guts. That's an interesting but, one. Who Jared and who? Take that guts. The berserk. Uh, that's an interesting. That's an interesting matchup, but I think it is good. Yeah, like, if it was a fight, it'd be a different conversation. But bad no, bad ass on, like, I think it's good. Yeah, is he powerful? Jer- Jer- more of a not even an antagonist. He's just right, a, what I'm saying like, is he powerful? Yeah, he's an antagonist. He's not even a bad guy. He's a yeah. yeah. It's just an obstacle. That's all he is. It's just an obstacle. So as far as as far as we we'll leave the fight portion alone, but as far as just being a badass, I have to give it to Bradley. Me too. Not yet, Bradley. I have to. Like I know, yeah. my, I know Zara. Mind you, he did not care. Mind now, you, we going on badass. Mind you, the most badass thing that Zoro ever did. They asked Zoro what happened. That man said, I understand that, but that's one situation. It's not him having no, I said the most. I said, I'm oh, okay, yeah. Don't get me wrong. No, I'm not saying he's not one, but compared to Bradley, Bradley, no, Bradley, don't be. I can't, I can't put him over it. I can't. I'm trying to figure out how do they have a woman and give me a kid together, huh? What? what Bradley had that woman like he must have her dick or something because she just knew they was in love. Oh, and you know that they be that, like that sometimes. That's um, they be ass, like that sometimes. <laughs> it be like yeah. that. I mean, Bradley came up. People thought they killed him in a train in a train accident. I do come up to his house, bring the sword out, slice a tank and literally in half with a sword, and just walked up like nothing happened. Like. Yeah, he broke walked back in his own for his own house. Like, yeah, I'm gonna need this whole thing back, y'all. Immediately. <laughs> Chase the tank down. It's, yeah, no, nah, it was a all it was all bad. Hypnotizing women is, is definitely bad ass. <laughs> I'm leaving you alone. I'm not gonna comment like I want to comment on that <laughs> comment. <laughs> I said that. Yeah. I'm, just I'm, bad I'm, bad I'm, sorry, not, I'm not disagreeing. I'm not. Listen, when women turn psycho because you gave them a little bit of penis, that's that's badass, bro. Is it not? Is it not badass? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. You literally swear you are you are the chaos that gets injected into our shows. I've 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 now understood that. I I now completely understand that now. they was normal and he and not now they lying. Crazy. And now they crazy not lying, though. because of you. But was it really my fault? Like, it, really? That, it's your fault. All I did was say hello, flash the smile, and, and, and gave them what they asked me. Them. That was it. Well, you shouldn't have flashed them. <laughs> I mean, now maybe she was the one who wanted to listen to. Now they see what you're working with, and it's over. I said I flashed a smile. I said I flashed a smile. That's what yeah. I said. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's to kind of add on the that what's cold. that other old saying um, from an old song? What was it? Never yeah. trust a big button to smile. I mean, yeah. that, yeah. right, <laughs> right. Don't, don't do that. Don't trust that. That'll get you killed. That'll get you in trouble. Right. Yeah, yeah will. That girl. Don't even trust a Anyway. Well, yeah. I've got everything. We we went through everything that we needed to for today. Uh, do you all have anything extra you want to hit on? Oh, there was one other thing I think Rod brought up before. J- it just reminded me the Ninja Turtles. You had sent something about uh, Street Fighter and Ninja Turtles, I believe. Oh yeah, there's a crossover comic coming out. Street Fighters, Ninja Turtles, and there go. Uh, really, that sounds interesting. 
And here's the interesting part of it. It's the IDW turtles. So that means this is going to be oh. Jenica's first crossover. Yeah. yeah. Her. So, yeah, this is the IDW turtles. Yeah. So we got Jenica finally getting her first crossover with the Street Fighter team of all. Okay. Of all. Okay. The premise, the premise of the of... story. Oh, go finish. The premise, yeah, the premise of the story is the turtles hear about a martial arts tournament in Atlantic City. They go to Atlantic City and it's find out, the the, and and they felt and they find out the opponents are the Street Fighters or the, or the good guys from Street Fighters. Right, so what are the Street Fighters doing in New Jersey? <laughs> it's a this oh, is a Street Fighter. It's a martial arts it's tournament. First off, what are they, they doing, doing in New Jersey? Jersey? <laughs> Maybe they want to go see Megas so okay. long. Who knows? Who knows? I giant robot. Okay. Um. <laughs> Power Rangers, the reunion series or movie. Yeah. I can't think of the name a, of the movie. It's a special. It's just a special. But but yeah, I want to see it. What about it? Oh, I want to see out. it. Just, it's not out yet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it comes out March or April, I think. I'm not 100% sure. So, is you doing and then what else? Awesome, um, awesome. What? what? And then the what? next set of the Pokemon anime it comes out this Friday too. So okay. the next set, so let's put it, the double be right at the pinnacle of the Master League tournament. So that comes out this Friday, the last set of episodes before the Master League. So the next set of dub episodes for Pokemon is the Master League after what they come out on Friday. Okay. Oh. Other than that, I'm just trying to think. Any other anime news? And then there's a new Pokemon protagonist anime. I mean, so no more Ash. And then Ash and Pikachu are still on their last ride. So <laughs> they're just still on their last ride. And la- and it, yeah, in the last episode. Oh, and then back. I saw this. I don't know if you want to talk on that. Oh, yeah. we. Yeah, that's what I was just getting to that. I was just getting hey, to that. Hey, Squirtle Squad. Yeah, they were in the last episode in the Japanese, so they Squirtle nice. Squad came back for the one one more time. The Squirtle Squad is is the truth. I don't care what nobody says. I'd want to see Squirtle Squad was the truth. Bro, you can't go wrong with the Squirtle Squad. Nah, you can't. <laughs> they just so cute. They're freaking adorable. And now they don't super sentai. <laughs> so we- right. <laughs> freaking adorable, man. Oh, here, this is what I got for you, Rod. Okay. Fifteen dollars to build a you team. Okay? What are y'all doing? Fifteen dollars? Okay. I'm not picking $15. Jigglypuff. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> What's your team? How much? Okay. How much? You got fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Team Everybody pick their squad, and then do we? Do, do who do you what? think will win? How much? Team of what? Five. Yeah, fifteen. You got fifteen dollars. No, but how much Pokemon? It's their per column. So it says how much it is at the, at the front of the column, in front of the row. I mean, how much Pokemon do we have to pick with our fifteen dollars? They're gonna give you for you on um, up with two dollars. I said no. You late? I already said hell no. Okay, Ashley Dragon. Um, uh, Ashley Jatini. Charlie and is it between Pidgey or Gold? I'm excited. No, this is cancel only. I can't go with that Pokemon. Okay, this cancel only. Uh, All right, look, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jatini. That's five. Like, so that's ten left. I'm gonna go easy. Now here we got a second question for you. Do y'all want to actually nah. get these Pokemon in game oh, and go heads up? We could probably do on a Sword and Shield, probably. Oh, oh. Hold on. Evolve. Can we? Because I'm getting them to evolve them. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. To evolve them. Oh, probably yeah. to a certain level. Yeah. Okay. In Charmander. <laughs> All right, so got a question. We're just sticking to Gen 1 or we're going to go up to current. I, I need that question answered right now. So I already got- the, as long as these these Pokemon here, whatever evolution after that is on you. You want some limits? Bet. I, look, Bet. I'm going. I'm going. So these base. 
whatever evolution evolution you want to go with, you can do from there. Okay, bet. 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 I think I know my team. Bet. I know my team. I know my team. All right. So what? So what do we got going on here? If I did my math right, I have. If I did my math right, I got five Pokemon. I got five. Okay. I got four. You got four. Who, so Jay's got Dratini, Ghastly, Charmander, and you said who you got? Pidgey or Psyduck? I'm gonna go with Psyduck because he's actually in Sword and Shield. Okay, Psyduck. Okay, that's not bad. That's not okay. a bad. So Dragon no. Knight, Gengar, Charizard, six? and Golduck. No, I got six. I think I got I got a full team of six. Okay, what you got? Team. Hold on, let me just make sure I'm doing my math. Right? I got a full team of six. I got five people. There's a reason I asked for evolution. There's a reason why. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I have a feeling you're talking about annihilate. Yeah, I got one from each row. I got one from each row. Oh no, I forgot about annihilate. Oh, I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot about annihilate. Oh, nope, too late. Good God. Okay, you ain't got the game. Shut up. You picked. I, I picked my people already. What are your five? Okay. Okay. So oh, what are your What are your set? I said Jatini, uh-huh. Evie, Volpix, Mankey, and Geodude. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What uh, What are you gonna do with the Evie? I'm a Volvo. No, I know. Like to what? Which though? one? Which one? Which evolution? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know it. You no, know it's one, bro. I don't. That's why I'm asking. Jolteon, come on, bro. man. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Well, Espeon's yes, purple. Know. That's why I was asking. Okay. Like purple. purple. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. One? I got a full team of six. Keep me out, dude. Like a pink purple. I got a full team of six. You, you ready? That's ready? pink. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I'm going to go Ghastly. Okay. Charmander. Okay. Let's see. That's what? Nine. Evie. Okay. Wait. Umbreon is an Evie. Uh, yeah. Thing? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Umbreon. My bad. Umbreon. Not. Not. Umbreon. That's my first one. And Mankey. I'm Mankey. That's so four, nine, 13, 15. Okay. Why and Mankey. Okay. Okay. Justin said Abra, Evie. Growlithe, Mankey, and Zubat, which I'm not, I'm with that. That's that's a pretty good team there. That actually, the, well, not the Abra, but everything Alakazam? else. Alakazam? Original, my with Jatini and then the rest of them, but then I changed my Growlithe to Volcade. So for Eevee, I'm going to go Glaceon because Volcade okay, got Jatini, so I have Ice Moves. I feel that. I feel that. Okay, Who's Justin? I'm... Just Ed. Is that's what I was saying. I apologize. <laughs> okay, I got mine. That's why. That's why I asked. If we were going current or evolution. So Go ahead. my six are Minky, Growlithe, okay. okay. Cubone. I'm evolving to the Alola variation. Clefairy, okay. Eevee for Vaporeon, and Zubat for Crobat. You pretty much are. You've got like the tactics for anybody. Pretty much with that. That's why you did that. That's why I asked that question. Yeah. Really? yeah. Who's stopping Gengar, though? I mean, but he not there. I'm, I'm no. surprised. Yes, he's yes, right there. Uh, no. The alone, the alone uh, why would I get Ghastly where I could get a Cubone for $2 and get the Alola variation? Yeah. I'm talking about you know, Ghastly. Let me Gengar is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. 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 yeah, bro. I wasn't even thinking Ghastly can turn into damn. Yeah, bro. Umbreon. Okay, okay. I, mean, I already said. I said Umbreon. Yeah, for me, stop trying to steal my people. Let's see here. I'd have to do Jatini. Um. Oh yeah. Mankey is a definite. I want to annihilate. I want to annihilate, bro. Annihilate and Gengar saved me through our Pokemon Scarlet. They they really was a good. Evie is your Umbreon oh, faster? Uh, no, Evie. Gengar, though. Uh, Gengar, Dratini, Mankey, 
And <laughs> my body said she chews you bad. <laughs> wow. Wow. Go. I'm not a jiggly punk. And then I'd have to do uh the same with no, 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 no. Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm okay. gonna be that guy. I'm going Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Okay. And then uh Geodude. No, you still have one more dollar left. You can get Nikki, you can get one you more two dollars. Oh no, no, I have three dollars. No, no, I got three dollars left. My bad, my bad. Okay, no, fifteen dollars. One, two, three. Geo dude and Jigglypuff Primate. That's a good team. That's a good team. Judy and Primate. I'm sorry. The, the starter three are my boys. Like, yeah, I want Dratini. Like, cause hey. I would if I could, I would do Dratini. Magikarp, Abra, and Ghastly. Is Magikarp there? Oh yeah. Dude. If I could, because of Dragon, Actually, uh, because of uh yeah, straight, Gyarados. Straight, straight, uh, you know what? I might swap something out now because I'm just thinking about Gyarados. It is. It don't matter. Oh. <laughs> hey, actually, oh, my, one of my. Th- I'm I swap. About hey, Rod, did you finish your Pokédex shit? No, I'm. I still don't got the Scarlet exclusives. I'm stuck. That's where I'm at right now, bro. Hey. I have been. I've been playing Unite. Uh, that's my excuse. I've been playing Unite. Just hit me up so you can get this on uh, Shiny Charm, and we can go. Uh, me, and you, and Ed can Shiny. go Shiny hunting. Okay, bet. Yeah, I still haven't got my Shiny Dolphin, and I'm so a little upset about that. It's been shining like right, right. Don't look at a jiggly folk. Get out my life. Well, look, before we go too far, we're gonna go ahead and close out. I want to say thank y'all for kicking it with us. Sorry about the late start. We we gave y'all an extra hour today. <laughs> we took it back to the old school where we started doing three and four hour shows. Uh, but we appreciate y'all sticking with us and kicking it with us. Uh next week is fourth week. Fourth week. Next week we'll do like a, a short pre-show. Um, if we're if we do the show, we'll do a short uh, update piece, and then we'll do um, we're gonna do our D and D game. Cause side note, just so y'all know, I let vocab out of the out of the hole that he dug I, himself. I earned it. He had to roll a D twenty. Hold on, he had to roll Look, a twenty I on a D twenty. Oh, uh, what? Go ahead. I want to tell story. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, he had to agree that he was a Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did not agree to that, unfortunately. But close. <laughs> um, close. Yeah, he had, he had to roll a D twenty. We allowed him to go ahead and get out of the room. Now he still has no clue where everybody else is or anything like That's that. Wrong. But he will end up out of the room at that point. So, exactly. are we doing a House March Madness bracket? That you will have to take that up with Jay and Vocab. They are the sports people. So if they decide that they want to roll with that, we can. I'm but you want to do a March Madness bracket, bro? I've done one of those in a minute. I, I do that we, for some fun. We can do a bracket. I'm good with it. I do that All for right, some All right, we're going to do a not? bracket. I have not done a bracket no. since college. Me either. All right, I'm going to do So then I guess we'll be doing a March bracket Madness bracket. was so good, so I'm, I'm, I was like off by one. It was the year that uh, Villanova won. Nah. No, oh, I remember you jumping in on the bracket. Yeah, and jumping in on the bracket too. Cool. So I guess we'll bring that up like next week as well. So we'll have the details for that for y'all. Oh, they yeah, ain't win the whole thing, but Villanova ended up beating Gonzaga, and I had Gonzaga win it. And I had, my whole and I had uh, every other team, team right on my team. No, I remember what was it? Oh, three. Like everybody, everybody in my, in my um, college group when I was dorming. Everybody, I think, went for. I forgot what year was 03. I forgot who got knocked out early. I think it was Duke or somebody got knocked out early. And this white kid walked up with like 500 bucks from like a group of 10 people. I was. Yo, thanks. I have a lot of money. All right. But well, other than that, we'll catch up with y'all later. Again, you control the pandemonium in your life. Do not let it control you. Got it? Ever. Don't do it. You're Is not that allowed. You? I don't remember.
I like it though. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's something I say. So yeah. I love, and also we got the sign off. I see him trying to upgrade a little bit. You know, get. And I'll just bring one little. Yep, and one last thing. Just I'm Boy, gonna right. be streaming. I'm gonna be streaming Octopath Traveler two next Friday, 10, 10 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to see me play this game, I'm down this clown. Just come Friday. Friday. Friday, 10 p.m. Central. Friday. If I'm not streaming, it, it, it will be your Twitch auto stream. Too. I online. will be back streaming Yu-Gi-Oh and Ma- I mean Master Duel and probably if I get it this week, I will be streaming Hogwarts. So yeah. Perfect. And I've been streaming ESO, that's Elder Scrolls Online, and I will be streaming tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Perfect, perfect. Anytime I'm not streaming anything, their streams will, if they're on, it will be hosted through my page as well. So you can always, if you can't find them individually, you can find them through the main Panda Pandemonium (laughs) Twitch page. So if they're online, as long as I'm not online also, then their streams will show um, on that main page also. So you guys can find them from there to go to their page and follow them uh, moving forward for that. Uh, we also are going to be having study streams this week again, um, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They will be later this week because I've got to go in office. So it's going to change a few things. Um, so it'll probably be later in the evening, probably like eight to nine ish, eight to 10 ish, somewhere in there for it. Um, but we will have those as well. One more thing. March coming, we'll start back streaming um anime nights. We we will discuss that later on. Figure out what night, but we will start doing like short anime, like a, in the Discord know, season anime one offs on the Discord. Oh, and then cool. something else. Any requests? Hit them Discord. And then and then something else we had mentioned, Perry. We're going to probably be doing a Bakuman um podcast yes eventually. that is definitely one that's going to happen it's going to be a whole we're going to do a whole bakuman um i think we'll do a stream in discord first watching it that way everybody has an idea uh, can get a chance to watch the whole series you know what i mean mm-hmm. and then we can do a we'll do like a podcast show about the show like as a recap just because we can't stream the show on here you know what i mean um Copyright actually if you're not on the discord get on it man. If we don't, if we don't say the vibe, we can't. We'll talk about that though. But yes, if you're not in Discord, hop in a Discord. Uh, love to have y'all in there. We can talk, chit chat, all that jazz. Love y'all. Catch y'all next week. All right, Be out. All right. Peace.